Goodness. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm starting to get alarmed. <laughs> My computer, it just died again. Um, Hopefully it doesn't happen when I'm live because we've had a couple issues with like my whole PC freezing and dying um, while I've been live the past. I guess it happened like twice in one day and then it didn't happen again last week, did it? It was just that day that I was having problems. I don't know. It just happened again. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have more of that while I'm streaming because <laughs> it's one thing when I'm not live. It's annoying, but it's fine. When I'm live, it's like a whole ordeal. But we should be okay. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Tech problems are so fun, you know? <laughs> um, well, I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, very excitingly, Taylor Swift announced a new album last night, which was pretty fun. Uh, nobody saw that one coming. <laughs> Everybody thought that she was gonna announce the Reputation re-recordings and she played us. She played us extremely well. We are fools and we like fell right into her trap and then there's a whole new album coming. It was fun because my mom was watching and she started spam texting me as soon as Taylor said it. <laughs> it was really funny. I'm getting like all these spam texts from my mom and sister like, did you hear what she said? Yeah, everyone's very excited. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're gonna play some Not So Berry Challenge today. Uh, we have to move into the new house. So we spent the past couple days building the new house, um, but now we have to like actually move into the new house. Uh, so like getting all of the graves, packing up all of our like collectibles, you know, <laughs> all of that stuff is what we're gonna do today. So we've got that to, to think about. Um, I guess, oh, also, uh, the Sims anniversary, the anniversary of the, like, the day the first ever Sims game came out was yesterday. Um, they don't have a ton going on. Uh, they did restock their merch, and there's a new pin. I did buy it, because I fell right into their trap. Because <laughs> I need, I have all of the Sims merch now, because um, I did a video on it. So I had to buy the new pin, because, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, it's this. It's like a llama with a freezer bunny on it. But I did buy it today, so. Um, lots going on. <laughs> hey, AJ, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Um, we are currently about to play our Not So Berry Challenge. Um, you're here at a good time. We literally just got here. Um, we, the past couple days have been, oh, I'm in the wrong save. No, we should be fine, actually. Never mind. Um, I don't need to get the house. I have it on the gallery. Um, we just spent a long time building a new house for our Not So Berry Challenge, and today we're gonna actually move. So we live here now. We're gonna go through the whole packing and moving process, which maybe for most people isn't a big deal. For my Sims, huge ordeal. Huge ordeal. We got so much going on. <laughs> this house has so much in it. So it's, it's, um, yeah, we've got trinkets. We've got a collection of like 300 graves. <laughs> Uh, so that's gonna be the first bit of the stream, is, is the moving process. <laughs> but hopefully you think it's fun, I don't know. Um, you love the moving the graves ordeal? Yeah, I think it's kind of exciting. I, I really like it because obviously all of us who are here a lot, we have like a real appreciation for the graves, but it's especially fun for me when we're like really working with the graves because a lot of new people are here or like someone comes in and they're like, oh, hey guys, what are we doing? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're gonna show up the first time they've been to our stream. They're like, oh, nice to see you, Kayla. Glad I caught your stream live for once. And, like, I'm doing this. <laughs> I really enjoy it. It really makes my day every time. Every comment about it. It just, like, really makes me happy. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, gamer and Salty. We got Trika and Coffee and Florence and Care. Uh, Marissa, who bought a book today that doesn't come out until tomorrow. Nice. I know I had seen you tell us that you were going to go to the store and see if they put it out early. Um, I did not know that it worked. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> uh, and Nofi and Carrie and Gabriella and Kelly and Momster and Pure Anxiety. We got Lilla, um, Arch, uh, Kate and Esmec and Annabelle and Jesse and Odin, Malaya, Goldie, No Reason, Mystic and Starfall and Sushi. Uh, also Kyra and Bree and Courtney and Meg and Catfeet. How much did I miss? <laughs> also Mia, Cora. Sai and Queen and Mara and Megan and Blossom and KD and Sir and Charlie. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, shall we begin? I think I'm gonna give Pickle all of our family's graves and then I'll put all of the other people's graves in Algie's inventory. So we'll start there. 
I like to keep them separate because the front half is like people that we we know and are related to and the back half is like all the random ones that I've collected over the years that I like found. So I need to make sure I don't get them confused, you know? <laughs> okay, anyway, <laughs> welcome in. <laughs> Brandy Taylor, lucky thanks for the subs. This is a grave affair. Yeah, it's great fun. No, they're not in a specific order or anything. Um, there's too many of them for me to like try and order them, especially because I move around a lot. If I wasn't moving them around so much, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. Um, I don't have the family ones in any order. It's just like the this line of the like occult sims and the pets sort of is the, the stopping point between these ones are all people I know and all of this are the ones that I found. But that's all. We don't really have like a... Storm is from the, the gray generation. Um, Shay, oh, was mistakenly placed there. I found that on the street. Um, Bonnie, that was a cousin of ours or like a half sibling from I think the purple generation. Blakely, that was an accident baby from that generation. Yeah, I don't know. Toast is, oh, that's the glitched one. Toast was a cat, but it looks like a human grave. Jam, that one was from before we even started Not So Berry, I think. Um, Blaze was the orange gen. Kaylee is the fake Peppa. I don't know what that means, really. I don't remember. Purple gen. Anyway, they're all over the place. Peppa. <laughs> I gotta stop worrying about it. Just pack them up. Just pack them up. <laughs> Spaghetti and Brooke and Ginger, thank you for the subs. Yeah, sometimes there's more than, there's, sometimes even I don't know what's going on in my own save. There's been so much that, like, sometimes I don't remember what happened and chat has to be like, uh, Kayla, that was Peppa Pig's clone. How could you forget? I think I remember some lady in a Peppa Pig costume, but not 100% sure on that one. Would this be easier in build mode? Oh, no. Placing stuff out of your build mode inventory is a nightmare beyond belief. The household inventory is so laggy, it's cursed. It's it's not easier in build mode. It, you learn your lesson. The first time you do it, you say, oh god, never again. Um, it's actually really bad. <laughs> Trying to do it from build mode. Uh, I try to avoid the household inventory whenever possible, um, is sort of what I've learned, because it's just such a... It's so bad. It lags so much when you try and use it. Um, so, you think I'm gonna sell one on accident? Oh no, we won't. It, when you sell it, you have to, like, first of all, you can't. But you'd have to, like, confirm it. It'll be fine. You can't sell graves, so. Even if I wanted to, it wouldn't let me. <laughs> um, it's not how it works. You can't do that with graves, really. How many graves are you up to? I think there's... 279? I forget. Chat will have to tell me. Why don't I make a graveyard on my lot? Okay, this is a common question. There are 279. The question is, why don't you build a normal graveyard? Kayla, build a graveyard lot type. Kayla, add a graveyard on your lot. No, the lot is the graveyard. We live on the graveyard. If Making an organized graveyard is not the vibes for this. No, what I want to do, my dream, is to live on a lot where eventually the graves surround the house completely. Um, so it's not really about realism. <laughs> it's about vibes. And what I want is more graves than house. So uh, I'm not going to build like a separate graveyard. <laughs> Um, Katie, thank you for the 16 months, uh, and, and Sage, and Lena, Joey, Sophie, Jen, uh, Neff, and Spaghetti, and Brooke, and Ginger, and Bailey, and Brandy, um, also Hunter, and Mana, thank you for the subs, too. Um, anyway, it's great fun for me, so. I'm sorry, is 279 graves unrealistic? Oh, oh no, uh, loads of people have this many graves. Totally. Totally, sure. Yeah, Christine, right. <laughs> Is there no quicker way? Oh no, this is the best way. Trust me, I've moved these graves, like, uh, I mean, we're on the 19th generation now. I had less back in the day, but I've, I mean, I've done this process like 19 times now, essentially. Um, this is the best way. The other ways, they're risky and laggy if you try and use build mode. It's not, trust me, this is the best way. 
If you don't like this, you're gonna be in for a real treat with the stream. We're gonna be moving all my stuff today, so it might not be fun for you. <laughs> We're almost done getting them though. It's okay. <laughs> Everything's totally fine. It's totally fine. Oh my goodness. All right, officially, all the graves are, are in our inventory. Um, I'm gonna, I think, leave that one behind because I'm gonna buy a new one at the new house. Um, I do have to go through and make sure we get all of our important stuff, uh, like the satellite dishes and whatnot. Uh, Vi and Katie and Makumi, thank you for the subs. Um, see, like this sort of thing too. We gotta make sure we have all of this. Collectibles. Most of that is just decorative, so that doesn't really matter. These things are important. Paintings. I don't know, that's a collectible. I don't think any of those things matter. We need this. I need my no poop sign. Oh, okay, I might have to just place a new no poop sign because that one's in the wall. It's gonna be annoying to get. This is the fire toilet, so I need that. I'll put a regular one back in its place. There was one grave left. Ah, that one's not a real grave. I have to put it in my build mode inventory because it's not a real grave. That's why I couldn't put it in our household inventory. I knew it was there. I was just waiting till I got back on that side, but it's because it's not like a grave that you can drag into your inventory like that. And no, they're not married to Elphaba yet. We are gonna get married to Elphaba, um, but we're just dating her right now. We haven't gotten married yet. Moss, literally, I have not unpaused yet since we aged up. You can see the cake is still here. Moss became a young adult about two seconds ago. <laughs> um, so we have not done anything as a young adult yet. We don't have a job. We like, nothing has happened yet. We aged up and then I said, okay, I'm gonna build. <laughs> and we've not gone back into live mode yet. Um, this is uh, the first time really that we've been doing it. So, okay, I'm gonna get these photos again. I have a lot of photos of like our dead family members. Look, that's when a grave died. Um, and this Sim Moss is going to be the heir. They live in this house right now with their two younger brothers. Um, their, their two brothers are here. Their names are Algae and, uh, Pickle. And, <laughs> um, we all live here together because our mother died. Um, she unfortunately passed away because her husband cheated on her and she got so upset that she died of anger. Ooh. That one's cool. I'm gonna need to bring the computers with me. Um, I'm not gonna bring the TV with me this time around. I have to get all of this, which is annoying. Where are we going to live now? We're gonna move to uh, Henford on Bagley is the next plan. So we'll be headed out there in a minute. Um, I built the house on the past like two days we spent building the house and now we're finally ready to actually move into it. My lights aren't on. This was Princess's room and then she died. Oops. Turn on all lights. Okay. Anything good? Is that poop? Yeah, that is. Yeah, that would be a piece of horse poop um, that I keep on my shelf on display in honor of my dead horse. <laughs> King Samantha, Anna, thank you for the subs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get Alan as well. Um, I wanna take, oops, I almost deleted everything. I wanna take this. Moss, do you have like, okay, photos will be good. I'll probably put those in Moss's inventory though. Come here. Pictures of us and our ex-boyfriend and our current girlfriend. <laughs> really important stuff, you know? I really liked Moss's room. I thought it was cool. This house was cool. I think it served us very well for the time. Um, I really enjoyed it. Okay, in the backyard, I'm gonna wanna bring all my plants too. So we don't leave these behind by accident. Okay, is there anything else? We already deleted all the stuff in the horse's room because I had to sell it because I was running out of money. Oh, this is my tree house. I'm gonna wanna bring that. We don't have enough space, but We'll maybe need it in the future and it's already built, so we don't want to lose it. Um, I think I might bring Moss's computer too, so I don't have to buy a second one. And then... I think that might be everything. Maybe the bike? We got our cow plant already. 
Um, we deleted the basement to save money, so we don't even have a basement anymore. I don't remember if I have the decor box. Sell that. That's money. <laughs> um, we... I'll just rebuy the trash can. I'm not that worried about rebuying the trash can, I don't think. Otherwise, I don't think any of this actually matters too much. Fish tank doesn't matter to me. I think that's everything. I'm not gonna bring the pond. I, I already placed a new one and this pond is dirty, so I'll just leave the new one and buy some new sharks. The sharks died and I couldn't afford to to get new sharks. <laughs> so we're kind of stuck there. I might bring my Roomba. That could be good. Yeah, otherwise I think that's everything. I'm gonna miss this house. I really liked this house. I thought it was beautiful. Memory box? Oh no, that's not a memory box. Uh, that's part of the shelf. It's You can't grab it separate. It's literally on the shelf. I don't have a memory box anywhere. Um, I got the fire toilet and I replaced it with a cheap toilet so the house doesn't have no toilet, thankfully. Because I might move our brothers back into this house once we want to kick them out. Um, but I got all the things. Cow plant, fire toilet are most important. And all of our collectibles are with us now. So I think we've- I think we're good. No photos left anywhere. Bedroom's empty. Okay. <laughs> I think some of this we could probably sell. Like that thingy, I'm being told that I have one of the decor boxes already. Um, weird amounts of, the way the postcards are laid out is strange. I need to bring a lot of our, everything else in here though. Oh, I could probably get rid of those. I usually just cheat for them, so. We have death flowers still. That's important to keep in mind, chat. We'll need to remember that for the future. Okay, so I'm gonna go now, first of all, save as, so that we're ready. New not so berry house, just in case, you know? Do I buy Taylor's new vinyl? You know what, Elixir? This is a fantastic question. Here's the situation. Me and Dan, we already bought it. My friend Hope, smart Hope, she is not buying it yet because it's like the standard edition we all know miss taylor swift evil she's gonna release like 50 editions this one's not gonna go out of stock it's probably the standard one that like will be there you might wait for a variant because what if you like a different variant better are you gonna fall for her tricks and buy a second one no she doesn't need your money don't feed into it <laughs> maybe hold off because I think that this one is just the standard. It'll be in stock. Like, it'll be fine, you know? Um, but anyway, Hope is the smart one in our group. I know, the thing is, you like, it, they feed off like the FOMO of like, oh my god, they were, it was, it was announced, I gotta pre-order it right now, but like, <sighs> there's gonna be a bunch of versions of it, you know? Um, we love her. We love her. I bought five versions of 1989. I bought five vinyls. I don't, it's, <laughs> I have all of the colors of them. I bought all of the colors of them. Some people here will understand. Not everyone else will, but some people will. And this is what I'm trying to say. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> they look beautiful, but it's just like... She doesn't need your money. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, we live in, we're gonna live in um, Hanford on Bagley. I have to... Oh, no one needs to be evicted. Okay, we're good then. Um... And we come and place this furnished. I might have to delete a couple things too. So, anyway, you're a variant collector, you have them all too? That makes me feel better. I don't have all the variants or like multiple variants of any other album, but I really fell into the trap of the beautiful colors of the 1989 Taylor's version ones. They're so nice. They're so nice. 
anyway, <laughs> where do I keep them? Uh, they're in a, they're on a shelf in my living room. Um, so I don't I don't have easy access. They're downstairs. <laughs> we keep all of our vinyls down there. Um, Dan is a bigger vinyl collector than I am. I would honestly argue that Dan is more so the reason that we have those than me. Um, oh my, that's bad. Um, Dan uh, buys so many vinyls. He loves to buy like movie soundtracks on vinyl and stuff. Um, so not even just like, yeah, we have a record player. <laughs> yes, we have a record player. Um, but anyway, he, uh, he likes to collect vinyls, so. Okay, this is the house, by the way. <laughs> I'm deleting a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna delete the extra computer because I'm bringing it with me. Um, I don't think there's too much else that I'm bringing with me furniture-wise. It's mostly just decor, right? Let's see if we can afford this house. And then if we have to move and like sell some extra stuff, then we will. I gave myself a lot of extra, like there's a lot of wiggle room. So I think we should be okay but just in case, we'll check and find out, you know? All right, come on, kids. We're fine. <laughs> We've got plenty of money. Okay, I didn't bring the TV. Um, I did bring a toilet, but I'm still not sure if I would want to use the fire toilet right now, so we have to hold off on that. <laughs> Jen, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. And just Rudy, thank you for the gifted subs. Uh, Kelly, Tangerine, Mystical. Um, we got Cho and Sarah and Mason and Caroline and Nini and Mill. Thank you all for the subs. We can afford sharks. <laughs> we can buy our sharks. No fire toilet? No, I brought it with me. I just don't know if I want to place it down yet because we don't have as many bathrooms in this house and we don't have a lot of money. So the fire toilet is a great risk to us. A great, great, great risk to us. All right, step one. Oh. There's koi in there. That is vile. Hold on. Remove. 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 Oh my god, it's glitched. What? Do I just let them die so I can- No, I'm gonna buy a new pond. Hold on. That simply won't do. No. Absolutely not. Um, what are you called? Luminary's Exotic Water Garden. I always forget what it's called. And then I end up having to, like, filter by- Okay, so I tried to do this so I could cover up some of the purple plants with those bushes, so they're supposed to be green. All right, stock water garden, sharks. There we go, that's the spirit. Okay, I feel a lot better now. <laughs> Duka, I mean, thank you for the subs, both of you. <laughs> they're back. All right, next order of business. Um, I think that... I guess I should put Alan 13 here, yeah. It would be bad of me to like replace him already because he was just born. Um, this is our little gamer computer. So I'll put that in the basement and then I'll use, oh no, we have a different rat from a long time ago. Should I keep that? I'm not sure. Okay, this is our computer that I'll put in here. I don't really like how that looks, but it, it'll do for now. We can always update it. And then... This is for my, like, collectibles room. I wonder if I could... Maybe I'll put these on display in here. I'm sorry, you guys. Now you have to watch me like try and decorate my house out of my own inventory. <laughs> We're gonna dig through all of our stuff and like cover the house in decor of things that we have in our inventory. <laughs> I don't know whose diplomas these all are. They're like generic high school diplomas belonging to someone. No idea who. I don't really care to put those up. Your favorite part? I think it's kind of fun too. I, I enjoy this aspect of it. Um. Okay, we'll put a bunch of our plants back as well. Bird of Paradise plant. 
Certificate of marriage for Lincoln and Princess. Blaze and Iris. Oh. Is it weird? Uh, hold on. Important question, everybody. Is it weird to put up the marriage certificate of your parents after your dad cheated on your mom and then she died because of it? <laughs> it's family history. I'm gonna put it up anyway. <laughs> um, okay. It's, look, it's really important. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this guy right here. This thing lights up, wait till you see this. Watch. Very cool, right? I've had that forever. <laughs> Sanders, Michelle, buzzing. Uh, Asriel, thank you for the sub CC as well. Thank you so much. I also have apparently two of these portable galaxy light shows. I think one would be good in Moss's room down here. And maybe another one could be good. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it in the hallway. That'll be good too. I probably don't need to have both of them, but that's our cloning machine. We have to keep that. I'm going to put this out front somewhere because we'll worry about that in a minute. The horse poop needs to be on display. <laughs> Listen, everybody, we are going to be... Um, we're gonna be going through a lot as we put all of our clutter back, okay? I just want to warn you, you need to, like, brace yourselves for what today is going to entail. Maybe I'll put this angelfish above the door. Horse poop? Yeah, the horse poop, it's, it's, oh, it's the way that we honor the memory of our horse who died. The horse's name was Strawberry, I think. I can't remember. The horse's name was maybe Strawberry, um, and we put the poop up on the wall to honor her. Um, I've got, these are nice. Maybe I'll put these down here somewhere. Isn't it smelly? Um, you know, they don't really react that much to it. So it's okay. Oh, maybe the skeleton should go there and these should go on this wall. I've had it on my shelves for a while. This isn't really new. Um, it's been there. Oh. Okay, I don't know which cow plant is the new one. Hmm. Whatever the baby one is. Sounds like I've got three. Okay, the baby one is the new one. Um, I'll put you like over here for now. You think I should have all of them? Do you think so? I'm worried about space because I need room for all of my graves. And I'm worried that if we have all four cow plants placed in the front yard, there won't be enough space for my graveyard. It might be okay. I guess we can do it anyway. And I'll just, I'll, I'll make do. We have a lot of graves, you guys. Like so many graves. They'll die. So we've had them, they've been our, in our inventory for a while. It might be nice to put them out for a bit. You know, kind of get them on display. Maybe get rid of all these because these are free. We don't need them. Oh, I have a couple kind of nice photos. Hold on, this might reappear, yeah. We have a couple kind of decent photos. Maybe I'll put one up over here. I was picturing that on this shelf, I would put my aliens. I I have four of them though. And I don't know if they're all gonna fit. So we might have to get two alien shelves. But that's okay. Is that gonna interrupt their ability to walk up here? Hmm. Maybe I could like Okay, what if we had the shelf kind of, um, if we just layered it? I think that should be fine. That'll be enough space for my aliens. We can't put it lower because it'll ruin their walking, but we can put it up here and just put them together. Oh, almost forgot that. Okay. Um, 
Next. You think you hate aliens? Really? What did they do? I like them. Oh, maybe I'll put this in the office. I typically put a bag of money next to our desks. I don't know why. It's just become like a habit that I put the money there next to the desk. You love this part of Not So Very. It's like unpacking, but in The Sims. <laughs> I do love the game unpacking. I think this part is fun though. I, I like the, uh, the going through and like adding all of the personality back to the house. You know? I find that to be a very enjoyable experience. Okay, that might go there. Oh. We have loads more plants than I thought. Oh my. I might not end up using all of these. I guess we had a very big garden before, huh? That's the death flower. We need to put that one on display. That's one, two, three. Okay, I could probably, oh, and four. I'll, I'll come back to this. I'm gonna put some pots around the side. The aliens seem a bit insensitive considering recent events. Oh no. You're probably right about that too. Having aliens in the house, it does feel like it might be harmful to the family after what they've been through recently. But we can't just get rid of them. The aliens are my friends. So <laughs> so zombie, Hannah. Agnes, thanks for the subs. It's okay, just don't look too close at the staircase, you know? I mean, well, depending on how you look at it. So the reason Chad is saying that, by the way, is because uh, I recently had an issue. Uh, the issue is that um, my sim, <laughs> their, uh, their mother died in a real tragic way. Uh, her husband cheated on her with an alien, um, and then she got so upset about it that she literally died. Oh my god. Um, she died of anger about it, and um, now it's like we have aliens in our house. But, and now hear me out. Oh, I'm gonna put the good one up here. Um, hear me out, right? It's, I think, okay, because now we're just putting the aliens that we've captured and killed on display. So... Depending on how you look at it, it's like kind of good, you know? Okay, um, can I size these down just so I can fit more in my shelves? I might force myself to. That gives us some room in case we want to expand, which is good. Okay, these are all my trophies. I'm putting these over here. There's a couple things, like, for example, this trophy I would be okay with going in this set of shelves. And, like, this fossil. I don't really need to keep the fossil. The fossil isn't, like, that exciting to me, but we have it, so we may as well put it up. And then we can save this stuff for, like, I don't know, more decorative things. What gen is it? We're on the green gen of Not So Berry, which is gen 9 of Not So Berry. Uh, but we've been playing in this save for a lot longer than we've been playing Not So Berry. We started Not So Berry on like gen 11 of an existing legacy. So this is actually gen 19 of this family. Um, so we've been playing here for a long time. So we've accomplished a lot over the years. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Is that poo? Yes, thank you for asking. It's horse poop. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I like it because it reminds me of our horse who died. So, it's very nice. Okay, um, what can I do with this? Should I put that on display in one of the shelves too? Maybe, I kind of like it. I don't know. I don't really want to put that one out. I don't like that one so much. I did have this cow plant on display, I'm pretty sure. 
on my shelves before. So we can do that. And I had these little guys too, but these are kind of fun. I think I might put them like more visible, these little wood carvings. I don't know. How old is this save in real life years then? A few, I think like three years. I could be wrong about that though. So don't quote me on it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a cork board. Rebecca, thank you for the subs. I want to put a cork board, cork, cork board. <laughs> I want to put a cork board up um, so that we can put our postcards on it. And then we also need to buy a fresh no pooping sign because I left the old one at the old house. So we'll have to keep that in mind too. Oh, I think we were going to use this wall for puzzles, weren't we? It's actually not as much space for decoration in this room than you than you might think there is. That's a puzzle of pulp. Then there's a mermaid puzzle and a horse puzzle. Maybe I'll put the cork board there. And oh no, put the cork board here and then I'll like scoot these over. And I'll try and make it seem like a interesting collection of art on the wall in the corner. Yeah? Okay, we can always use new puzzles and like make some new ones because we have the game table, but that'll be good for now. How do you get the puzzle? Um, if you have growing together, you can use any game table and then put a puzzle on it. Um, and there's a wide variety of them. Um, so you could change it to puzzles and then you'd be able to start Hold on. If you would simply come inside, um, then you'd be able to choose a puzzle and there's a ton of options. Uh, and these ones, once they're finished, you can hang them on the wall. Isn't there a cork board in Moss's basement office? No, there is. <laughs> yes, there is. I was gonna say no, there isn't, but there literally is one right there. <laughs> Okay, I can use that one, that's fine. Um, well, that gives us some more space for future puzzling. So that's all right. We'll, we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> Massa, thanks for the 36 months in Georgia. And Mar with the tier three, 32 months. Thank you so much, Becca, Nell, Sazzle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have the graves been placed yet? No. No, we haven't gotten to that part yet. I might give us a little uh, set of crafts. I may change this to be green. That used to belong to Barbie, but then she died. So that's a shame. We do have a ton of photos. Um, it depends which ones I desire to hang up. I think Moss had most of the, the best ones. So I can try and get a few of these. Look, that was Blaze on his wedding day. Here's pulp. Um, that was grave with pulp. And then that's Moss and their future wife. So that's good. Those are some good family pictures. And then over here, that's one of the orange gen kids with pulp. So that's fun. Family pictures. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good one. That's when the purple gen sim died. Uh, that's one of the green gen babies. I don't think that was moss, but we can pretend it was. Um, we can get another picture of us two together. Let me see what I've got in our inventory. These frames are from growing together, by the way. Those are medium, large, small print. Okay. Whoa! That's the yellow gen! The yellow gen sim, honey, was married to an alien too. Well, <laughs> no one here was married to an alien. <laughs> an alien ruined our lives, that's different. But, you know, who's counting? <laughs> uh, who are you? Oh, that was when Barbie was a kid. I think that one is baby Moss. That's when our family died. That's the alien baby that destroyed our family. And that's Pulp again. Okay, um, 
Small print. Anything else good? Oh, that's our parents. Look, princess is sad. It's like she knew what was coming. <gasps> Eugene! That's Tomato and her husband, Lean Mean Eugene Green. Um, I'm trying to decide. I need to go through these and delete some. Oh, that was the yellow gen in our dog. I liked that dog. His name was Corn. Oh, ooh, that's the gen one of Not So Berry. That Sim's name is Flossie. That's her wife, Bethany. That could be the clone of Bethany. I, I'm not sure. But that's at least somebody named Bethany. Don't know if it's the real or the fake one. Um, we actually don't have that much wall space in this house. Uh, oh no, I didn't mean to put on debug, sorry. bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. Oops. I wanna get a couple more photo frames. I'm interested in using some of these above the rat. Cause I'd like to have some more photos. Like it's, it's I think fun to hang up a lot of pictures of the family around. I might be able to get some like in the living room. Oh, we have these sec this section too. Okay, we got plenty of space. Uh, I think I might hang up the alien baby who destroyed our family because the thing is that is Moss's sibling, you know? It, it might have ruined our lives, but it, it still is Moss's sibling. Oh, that wall's not even painted. Oops. Okay. Simcat, thanks for the 61 months. <laughs> okay, um... You are small print. Let's look at the vertical photos. Oh, here's a cat from ages ago that was apparently called Fish. I don't remember that. Oh, that was Grave with Pulp. I like that. Um... These pictures are kind of hard to make out. I'm not really 100% sure what they all are. A lot of these are photos of various pets that we've had over the years. But it's been a long time at this point, so I'm not like that worried about it. I don't know what they're crying about. I'll be fine. That's Barbie, that's recent. So that's good to have. Um, that's a cat that we had a long time ago. Oh, that would have been Barbie's cat. Oh, that one's recent. I forget what its name was. Was that Ken? Oh, that was Princess and her ex-boyfriend. She should have stayed with him. Then she wouldn't be dead. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was actually mean. I shouldn't have said that. Um, I like the idea of maybe some more of the red and yellow gens. Because those are older. Is there any red and yellow gens together? There we go. That's like, that's tomato and honey together. So that's good, I think. Okay. <laughs> I like our photos. I think these make a big difference in the house. I don't know why I forgot about Ken. I'm sorry, chat. That was like pretty bad of me. I don't know what just happened. Is, was that one Flossie? Or no, no, I think that was Flossie's mother. I can't remember. Flossie was the mint gen, the gen one sim. That's the yellow gen on their wedding day again. That one's got pulp in it. Here's a picture of a baby. That's fun. Which baby is that? Must be pink Jen. I love putting up photos. I already put that photo of Graven Pulp. What, that one? Of them playing together? Are you sure? I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna allow myself to just not worry about it anymore. <laughs> that was Graven Blaze. Um, that's our parents. I think it's nice to have that, like another picture of the parents, even though, you know, she is the reason that we're dead. Or he is the reason that she's dead, sorry. 
Um, I don't know. Oh, that's Barbie with Lizard, the sim that we had a science baby with. That's good. Okay, that should be enough photos then. I think we've got enough. Allison, meow, and money, thank you for the subs. I think that's good. Okay, okay. If there's anything extra that we wanna do, it would probably just be like over time, getting some photos like with our, our I don't know, once we get some more pictures of us with like our wife, we'll add in some of our own photos. Um, but for now, I'll just leave that up. She's not married to us yet, so. Took us almost an hour, but we did it. Oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> now it's time for the big stuff. <laughs> the next plan is to place every single one of my graves. I'm, what I'm gonna do is place them mostly on the ground, just so I can get them placed, like here on the thingy. And then I'm gonna move them all around myself. Um, Cause I think, you can you press them on quarter tiles? I pressed F5 in build mode. Can you place them on quarter tiles? Oh, you can. All right, I should have done this before. Okay, so this half are our family members. These are the ones that we like actually care about. I would say, um, because these are the ones that are related to us. Oh no. Scoot over, there you go. So we'll get all of these down. It won't take us that long because we have a method, okay? But just give me time. What does this one say? Oh, that's delete, oh, okay. Yikes, awkward. You're being so brutal today, am I? What, is it like the matter of factness about my dead sims? I know, I'm being quite matter of fact about it, but if you had this many dead sims, you'd think the same. We've been through a lot. Okay. And then... I don't know where I'm gonna put all the pet graves. I'm like, I guess they can go in a pile over here. <laughs> a pile is like such a way of putting it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ma and Jim, thank you for the subs. <laughs> By the cow plants? Oh, I, so this half is the bigger space. That's gonna be for the, so we have a, a larger set of graves. Uh, for the ones that aren't related to us. So I'm gonna need more space for them. Um, so we we have to use like the area by the cow plants for those. Okay, I'm wondering if I should like, maybe keep continuing on with these over here, like up into the corner. more so and then like I don't know like keep it like that many or something and that leaves me like half of the space to have my pet graves in so we have a line drawn there okay what lot is this? Um, this is a 40 by 30 lot in uh, Henford on Bagley. It's where those old guys normally live, but they're so dead, it's been so long. Um, so they're not really around anymore. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'll try and fit in all of my occult graves in like this area. We'll have a spellcaster grave soon too, which will be fun. Not yet. I still have to wait for, for Moss's girlfriend to die. <laughs> Not that soon, but you know, soon enough. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> we have to have kids first. I won't kill her early or anything. Okay. Um. 
these are like not as good. I, I really prefer it, I think, when they are like a big mess of them all together. Maybe I should have put all the pet graves in like a line at the front. Maybe that would have been better. I'm sorry, I'm really overthinking this, but it just, it's very important to me how I organize my graves. We need it to look good and like appropriately menacing, you know? Okay. I wasn't, guys, I gotta be honest, I've not really been keeping up with what's going on in chat. Uh, are people discussing Twitch chat name colors? Um, Cause from what I've gathered, maybe I'm reading this wrong cause I didn't see the full conversation cause I'm a little bit distracted. Um, just so you know, the name colors do appear differently on like the different modes of Twitch. Um, when I'm in my dashboard, the colors look different than when I am, than when I'm like just in um, like Twitch chat regularly because people might have readable, readable colors turned on. Um, so they might be visually different uh, for depending on what settings you have your Twitch on. You can choose but um, if you're wondering like, why does it look different than what people are saying? Readable colors probably is the, it's a setting that you can turn on with your own Twitch chat. Okay, move over all the occult graves. I think my horse is basically an occult grave, right? Oh my God. Look at how long this line is. Is it weird that it's in a long line? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's a little bit alarming, but that's okay. We should just let it be. No point in allowing ourselves to stress over it too much. Okay, well there's room to grow. So that's all that matters. I wish that I had more to fill it in, but that's okay. On this side, this is where all of the other graves are going to go. So these are all of the ones that belong to not my family. The ones that I've just like found over the years. Um, so these we're just gonna try and line up all of them. There's a lot, so we're gonna be here for a bit. You hate the look of alien graves? Yeah, the alien graves aren't the best. How far off the lot does this go? Oh, we got some more space. Okay. Who died? <laughs> um, you know, the everyone. I would I would say. All of them. Everyone. Ever. Yeah, don't worry everybody, we're almost done. It takes me, look, this is gonna be like over an hour of me moving into the new house by the time we're done with this. I'm so sorry. This might be like really boring content for you. I'm not really sure. I think it's fun, but <laughs> Matilda Average, Aaron, thank you for the subs. This is like half the battle of building the new house is like all of the moving process. <laughs> Notice how it still says 99 plus by the way. after I've placed all of these so far. <laughs> oh, I should save, you're right. Imagine if we lost our progress and we had to do it again. That would just, I'd have to end stream. I, I'd have to end stream, I wouldn't be able to continue. We'd have to like return on a different day if the progress got unsaved. <laughs> It'd be too much for me to handle. <laughs> I think we'd all be like, nope, that's enough for today. <laughs> Why do you let me place that one there, but not, hmm. Oh, cause it's not in the right spot. That would be why I scooted it over too far. Is there a reason for the found graves? Yeah, kind of. Um, you know how sometimes when you're like out and a sim dies, like you're at the bar and then like some elder dies of old age. Um, or you know how like, maybe you haven't experienced this, but uh, when all of the Sims in a household die, so like say you play in the, the save for a while and like all of the goth family is now dead because it's been long enough that they all died of old age. All their graves are still in their house and their house is completely empty because when they die, they take their furniture with them. It's really weird. Um, but all their graves are still in their house. Um, just like kind of waiting there for you. 
Um, so sometimes we go on what we call a grave hunt, uh, and you just go check people's houses, and you take the graves off the lot and bring them home with you. Sometimes if you get lucky, you might see like six to eight all on one lot, um, and then I just bring them back with me. The graves are usually either right inside the front door or in the back corner of the lot. I don't know why that's where they spawn. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, but if you're ever curious and you have a long save that you've had for a while, you can do that. It sort of started, like, the, the truth of the grave hunt, it kind of started off with me going to, like, other people's houses to get, like, my family. You know, like, maybe, like, going to find your sibling's grave or, or whatever. Um, oh, that one's clipping in there. Sorry. But I would go out and be like, oh, I know that my sibling died of, uh, like, a neighborhood stories thing, so I'll go get it. Um, and then it was like, oh, well... Here, their husband's here, and their dog's here, and, like, like, everything's here, so I'll just bring those with me, too. I may as well. Um, so that's kind of where it stems from, uh, is, like, you know, actually getting sims that I know, and then it turns into a little bit worse than that. Okay, the graves are now wrapping around the tree, so that's kind of exciting, I think. Look at that. Um... All right, that's all of the other people's graves. I might scoot that one up just so it kind of has like a nice little rounded edge. I don't know. I think that's good. I'm not obsessed with how these look. I'm kind of like not really feeling it. Maybe I could readjust a little bit and scoot these in more, the pet ones. I don't know like double stack it. I'm sorry that I'm still doing this. I just, it, I want it to be perfect. <laughs> okay, I think that's probably better. Like that. Right? Are they all haunting your house? Oh yeah, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. We've been going through a lot, all the night. All, all the whole night. There's just ghosts everywhere. Okay, did we miss anything else? Not really. There's a couple extra things. Like, I might try and get rid of these old potatoes. <laughs> um, I think we have some bikes from when we were kids. We don't really need that anymore because Moss is older. Um, you, for some reason, have two homeworks, which you don't need. Okay. So the last thing, photo frames on stairs. Oh, I got the photos everywhere. We put, we went through all of them. Oh, my poop sign and, and the fire toilet, I guess. I probably should put the fire toilet down. I don't want to. It's gonna cause me so many problems, but I'll be brave. I'll be brave. This toilet uh, spontaneously combusts, by the way. Just you wait. We need to save money, Simsy. Oh, we have a little bit of money that we can spend. Oh, I must put this thing up. That's really important. Okay, um, any last minute touches aside from the greenhouse? Because the greenhouse is what we haven't decorated yet, so. What even is that? Oh, it's a, uh, it's a painting. <laughs> it would be a painting of, uh, person eating a hot dog. It's kind of scary, which is why I use it. Where did my death flower go? That's the death flower, put that by itself. Tomato bush. I might delete some duplicates. We have like two bell pepper bushes. That's an alien thing. I'm gonna wanna get some of the like, um, we're gonna wanna get some of the spellcaster plants, but we don't have a spellcaster yet. She doesn't live with us yet, so we don't need to worry about it too, too much yet. Um, can't delete the tomato plant. No, Christine would get upset. And I don't blame her. If I was named Mrs. Tomato and then Lil Simsy kept deleting the tomato plants, I would be like, what's the deal? What are you trying to say? Okay, a little box of collectibles might actually, like, really come in handy, to be honest. 
Maybe I could stick that, like, I don't really know if they can fit. No, I don't want to move Alphaba in yet. I don't really think that I'm ready for Alphaba to be living with us yet. Um, I think I'll be a little bit overwhelmed if I have to take care of Alphaba too. <laughs> so I might wait a little bit longer before I... I'm just gonna let us try and, like, get used to this household and then we'll, we'll do that. Okay. I think we should be all good to go, though. Everything is fine. I'm gonna give all the good treats to Moss so they can hold on to them. And the last thing is just to fill the pet bowls, and then we should be set. Poop sign! Oh, we're not done yet. Hold on. I gotta get the poop sign. <laughs> I keep forgetting. That is important. It's gonna- literally, it's been a full hour since we started. Yikes. Okay. Um, so the story behind this is that I used to have this sim called Bran that had a bit of a lactose intolerance problem. Um, and it was really, 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 really annoying, Bran's lactose intolerance problem. Um, and he kept pooping on my floor, like, by accident. He would eat mac and cheese or something and then poop on the floor. So I decided to get this no poop sign as a reminder to him. Um... And now he's dead, obviously. But we'll put it up on the wall. Just in honor of Bran. Okay, it's an item from Cats and Dogs, but I like to try and scoot it into the wall so it's nice and on display. <laughs> okay, now we should be good. Now we have done it all, I think. It, would it be weird if I hung up a picture or, like, displayed a picture of Moss and their ex-boyfriend? That is also a picture of Moss and their ex-boyfriend. But this way we can get rid of those extra photos. Well, listen, we're still friends. So I say it's fine. Okay. <laughs> now, everything is officially set up. <laughs> We've done it. And now we can play. Now we are prepared to begin. <laughs> okay, kids, maybe you should do your homework. Happy Thursday. Sorry to put you through this, but it's about time. Are any of the cow plants hungry? Oh my god, look at this one. They're even milked. I wonder whose essence that is. Do you want to go find out? I've had those cow plants in my inventory for ages. So that could be anybody's. Elise's essence of boredom. Bethany's essence of inspiration. Bethany was the the spouse of the Gen 1 not so berry sim, who is actually Gen 11 of the save. I will show you Bethany. Hold on. So, oh, I just clicked on the wrong thing. But Bethany is this sim. So Flossie started not so very. That's Bethany. That's amazing. I've had that essence in there for that long. <laughs> That's like an artifact. How is that even possible? I can't believe that. <laughs> Laura, uh, Miles, thank you for the subs. Wow, that, okay. Ancient discovery, if you will. Irrational hatred for the sun. Do you want to set the thermostat to be warmer, too, while you're in here? Aged cow plant milk. Maybe I could put that on display. Oh, that's kind of like shrine-like. I look at the poop stinking up the place, too. This is amazing. I'm really happy. <laughs> Do I have her grave? Oh, we must have Bethany's grave somewhere over here. I don't really care to look through all of them. Um, we'd have to, like, literally dig through every single one to get to Bethany's, and I don't really even know. Martin. That's when I married my stepdad by accident. Um, look, this one just says, asked out my dad. I don't even know what generation that was. <laughs> That's just some random sim from ages ago. You what? <laughs> 
No, okay, listen to this, listen to this, right? So this was pre not so berry, but same save. We had this sim. Let me see if I can go back and find them in the family tree so I can show you what I'm talking about. But way back, it would have been like, Who are you? Poppy. Holly. I don't know which one it was. Oh, it was this guy. Okay, Carson. Listen to this. Carson was married to Trent. They had a few kids, but Carson was married to Trent. They, they never had the best marriage because Carson kind of sucked. Carson was like mean and, and like just not the best husband to Trent. Okay, but Carson was our legacy heir. So Carson and Trent ended up getting divorced, okay? Um, they, like, it was, you know, nice. They didn't hate each other, um, but they still co-parented just separately. They, they didn't work romantically, so they ended up getting divorced. Well, Carson, after it had been a while, it wasn't like soon after the fact, it had been a bit, but I was out at the park and I saw this guy named Martin and I was like, wow, Martin's cute. Let me talk to him. So we started talking to Martin. We end up dating Martin. And then I go into cast cause I'm like gonna move Martin in. And I was like, gonna see what Martin's situation is. Like, does he have any kids? What, what's his outfits look like? Well, I go into cast and I see Martin's got a daughter. Okay. Oh, I think our, I think that our, um, yeah, the family treated and saved their siblings. So they're deleted now, they're gone. But Martin had a daughter, okay? Our new boyfriend, Martin had a daughter. And I'm looking and I'm like, Martin's daughter has the same last name as my ex-husband. Okay, yikes. So I go into the household and I'm checking the family tree. Turns out Martin had married Trent's mom. Martin was married to Alexis, okay? She died. She was like a lot older than him. He was still around. He was younger. They had the daughter named Holly. <laughs> and so we ended up marrying Martin and like raising our stepdaughter, who's actually Trent's little sister. <laughs> so I'm mean to this guy. I divorce him. And then I go and I marry his last living family member. <laughs> Because his mom's dead. His only family left is his stepdad and his step or his his sister. Um, <laughs> and I married his stepdad and then started raising his sister. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. He didn't ha he didn't have the same last name. Like his last name wasn't Ethington. So I didn't realize, like I didn't notice, but yeah, I married his um his, I married my ex-husband's stepdad by accident. And then he came to move in with us and he hated my house. He said that it was like poorly decorated, so I killed him. And that's Martin. So. That made your head hurt trying to follow that. Yeah, it doesn't help that the family tree has deleted some of the people. That was ages ago. That was like a couple of years ago in real life. Um, and that was in the same, the same family. Also, the Holly thing was really funny because we had a kid named Holly ourselves and then the stepdaughter was already named Holly. So there was two people named Holly and it was like really weird because like, what are the chances that the game randomly named the kid Holly? I didn't name the kid Holly, but they did and I already had a kid named Holly. So we had two Hollies. It was like, yeah. <laughs> My saves are funnier than yours. You know what it is though? It's, it's not so much that like the, the most chaotic things happen to me and not to you. I mean, there's times where you like accidentally marry your stepdad or whatever. Um, <laughs> but a lot of the time, like 90% of it is just the Sims doing something relatively normal and me being like, whoa, <laughs> and like making a story out of it. Um, Cause I, I think that's fun. So we all kind of sit here together with the chat or like I'll just sit here and I, I like embrace the chaos. Like the the thing with their mom, princess, oh, you don't, you shouldn't be in there. Their mom dying of anger was an accident, but the dad didn't actually cheat on us with an alien. The dad never cheated on us with an alien. He, that never happened. I set that up. It's like a story, but it was all because 
we decided to have him have an alien pregnancy and I used a mod to make it happen. And then he later got abducted and got pregnant for real. So we were like, oh my god, it happened twice. <laughs> the first time was us. The second time, the game abducted him. But then we were like, oh my god, he wasn't abducted. He's cheating on us. Like, we made it into lore. We, like, pretended. And then I set it up so he actually did cheat on us. I went and, like, had him kiss the alien. But he didn't actually cheat at first. I pretended. And, like, made it fun. Um, but... <laughs> It's, I mean, like, anybody could do that, you know? It takes some, like, uh, a level of, like, wanting to be creative about it and, and also, like, embracing the chaos, which not everybody likes to do. I think that The Sims, f a lot of the time for it to be fun long term, especially, like, playing in the same save for this long, it, it takes some, like, pretending and creativity on your part. Um, so you, you kind of have to, like, mess with things sometimes for it to still be fun. And I think it's fun to do that, but not everybody likes that. Um, but that's why I enjoy playing with it for so long, because I make every generation so different and we make it so chaotic and like there's always something going on. Um, and I think it's fun to have a little story. <laughs> um, yeah, and then it also kind of pushes you to do things that you maybe wouldn't normally do, which makes the game more interesting. So. That's what I enjoy about it, I guess. <laughs> you struggle to make bad sims or have them be negative so you get bored? Yeah, I get that. Um, you should try giving every sim one bad trait. I know it's hard because you like don't want to have your sims have bad traits. That's kind of how I used to play too. Um, but it's I, when you're making a sim, and, and bad trait, there's a wide range of that. You know, it could range from like high maintenance <laughs> to like clumsy or you know like something that's like I mean clumsy's not really a terrible trait but you could pick one that's like a little bit you know not like a skill building trait like creative or something um because it just makes it more fun when they have some negative stuff going on um randomizing traits is also kind of helpful that's how I play with my legacy sims I randomize their traits um obviously not with not so berry because they have assigned traits but <laughs> Um, like the siblings traits I randomized, that's how like this sim became like loyal and outgoing. The sibling is high maintenance, which is terrible and so annoying. Um, so <laughs> that kind of helps too. Um, it helps to like mess with it a little bit because that way you like maybe try stuff that you wouldn't normally pick. Because I, I'm the same way, like the same, or at least I used to be where you make a new save and it's like family oriented, creative. <laughs> Like, you pick the same couple traits. I, I more so had that problem in The Sims 3, where it was like all my Sims had like um, the family traits, neat, loves to cook, like <laughs> romantic traits, hopeless romantic. I, I used to pick all the same ones over and over um, for my legacy heirs, but it's not as interesting that way when you play the same way. But everybody has like different preferences. It doesn't matter how you play, as long as you're enjoying it. It's kind of the key. Um, okay, so this one is your room. And this one, oh, you're in your own bed. Good, you guys figured it out. Good job. First night in the new house. <laughs> you always picked great kisser. Oh yeah, without a doubt in The Sims 3, every sim was either a hopeless romantic or a great kisser. I would pick some sort of romance trait that would help me. And I would have them all have the same lifetime wish to have five kids every single time. Because I only played legacies and I would like make a new save and then play like two generations of the legacy and then make a new one again. And then do it again and again and again and again. But I think it's because I, I really enjoyed like the the rags to riches aspect of starting out with nothing and trying to build up a house. And then once I had a house, I was like, boring. Next, do it again. You know? Because in The Sims 3, you used to be able to get money really easily. They had this like genie bottle that you could wish on. And if you wished for money on it, you got a hundred thousand simoleons. Um, you could also do this wish for, like, you could get, like, a inheritance. It was one of the reward traits, or one of the rewards like this from the reward store, but in The Sims 3. And if you get, did the inheritance, you got, like, 30,000 simoleons. Um, and I also used to have, my Sims always have dogs, and the dogs would go out hunting, and they would find gems. And if they got the Tiberius, Tiberium, whatever, <laughs> Tiberius, if they got that, then if you left it out, it would grow and be worth, like, 30 grand again. So all of a sudden, my Sims would have, like, loads of money, and then it was not fun for me anymore. Because I would build a house with all this money and then it was like boring. I've got all that. I don't need it. Um, but I loved it. <laughs> 
I loved it. I still do that when I play The Sims 3. <laughs> okay, go to sleep. Are you fully rested? No, it's 2 a.m. Back to bed. Who do we got today? Austin Potts. And Harrison Smith. Austin Potts was like one of the Gen 2 husbands or something. I forget. That's a long time ago. We're on Gen 19. Hearing me describe The Sims makes you want to play. You haven't played it in a long time. I, I really get that. I really get that. I have that same sort of experience with, with like, I don't have that with Sims. I'm obsessed about The Sims. The Sims is like, my world revolves around The Sims, so I don't get bored of The Sims. But with City Skylines, I, I go through like, intense phases of playing City Skylines, where I'll like nonstop watch people play and then be like, I'm so inspired. <laughs> And then like all weekend, I'm playing City Skylines. <laughs> and then I kind of like fall out of it again. Um, but I get that. Like watching people play it gives you ideas and it makes you want to do it too. I totally, totally get that. Um, so anyway, I'm not as good at City Skylines. So I don't feel like I like to play it as much. <laughs> That's why I have phases with it. And then I get to a point in the city where it's like, this is, now it's a mess. It's a mess. So I have to stop and then start again. Um, but that's okay. It's fun for me, so. I think most people kind of play games like that, though, where you go through phases with it of, like, what interests you. Um, I haven't been playing a lot of games for fun, uh, this month, really. I've been in a- I've, I'm always in a reading era, but I've been in a massive reading era the past month or so. I literally haven't played any games for fun off stream. I'm like, I- I get off stream, PC off, book on, <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> I've not really been playing a lot of games. And since, like, the beginning of December, kind of. After I- after City Skylines came out and I had my moment, then I slowed down a bit. But, anyway. Um, I think... I'll let them keep sleeping. You're reading What the River Knows. <laughs> that was my lowest rated book last month. I ranted about that book to Dan for like three days. I was so mad about it. I hated that main character. <laughs> I rated it two stars. I probably should have given it one. I, I was so mad about that book. <laughs> I was sad because it seemed like I was gonna love it. I was like right up my alley. I I couldn't stand the main character of that book. Ugh. It's called What the River Knows. I just, I wanted to like it so bad. I'm gonna read the next one when it comes out in a few months, but I just, I was really upset about it. It was not for me. So, me reading it now, oh no. Well, if you, if you don't hate it, then don't worry about how I feel about it. This is why I don't talk about books on stream, because I feel bad when I'm like, when I have an opinion about something that you don't agree with, it's like, if I like it and you hate it, I feel bad. If I hate it and you like it, you feel bad. And then like, <laughs> I feel like I have to form like an opinion about it and like express it to people. It's why I just keep it to myself. Um, but otherwise I had a good month. I read nine books last month and I liked all of the other ones. So, you know, <laughs> why would you then read the next one? I'm not spoiling anything, but the ending has made me feel as though I want to know what happens. Almost out of like a uh, rage. Almost out of rage. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> I need to know what's going to go on. <laughs> You cannot not finish books, I get it. Yeah, I don't usually um, not finish books. So. Um, rage reading is everything. Yeah, I don't wanna, I didn't hate it. I I was really upset about that book though. I, literally, I ranted to Dan about that for like three days. And I keep, because <laughs> I always give Dan recaps of my books. Um, I'll like read and then before bed, I'm like, Dan, here's what's going on. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> I, I still, in all the books that I've read since, I'm like, and this is why this is better than that book. <laughs> I don't know why it got me so bad. I was so mad about that book. I have not been that angry about a book in like, like, honestly, like a year. <laughs> but it really got me. It did. I've, I've been thinking about it a lot. So I guess there's that. 
Anyway, this is a litter box, by the way. We do have one. I didn't forget. Hi, Kayla. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. You are here at a really good time because I literally just started playing. I've been here for an hour. The whole first hour, I just moved into the new house. So I had to like put all my, I was like moving all my things. Like I have all my like collectibles and my, my little knickknacks. <laughs> and I had to move all my graves. We spent like 20 minutes placing graves and I'm not kidding. Um, so you're, you're here at a good time because now the place is ready. <laughs> and now we can actually play. And yes, that is poop on the counter. This poop, it's from my horse. My horse died, and this is all that I have to remember it by. I, after the horse died, I found this poop in the field, and I said, Oh, it's Strawberry's poop. Um, and I, I keep it on display. So, on the counter? Oh, but it's not like a cooking counter. It's my display cabinet. I tried to make it look like a built-in of display shelves, to the best of my ability. I think it's kind of cool. But yes, the poop is on the counter. A picture would have sufficed. No, it doesn't hit the same. We need a real one. Okay, I'm gonna have Moss get into work. We're gonna join the programming career. Um, I'm gonna, I tried to give him a couple days to like not have to do it, but it's time. Can I put the poop sign next to it? Oh, I guess I could. I like the poop sign in the kitchen though. I don't know. Okay, I need to get my tech guru career. We don't have work until Monday, so that's a win. Um, and then we can start programming. I'm gonna have Moss come downstairs and get to work. Do I still play Heyday? Oh, do I still play Heyday, plant fish? Yes, hold on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm on level 57. Hold on, here's my farm. I can't look at that and then show you. Here's my farm in heyday. Um, big fan, huge fan. I wish I wasn't, but I am. <laughs> huge fan. <laughs> I play her before bed every day. So, level 29, level 27, yeah. I even got Dan to play. My brother and sister play, we're in a neighborhood together. It's good stuff. Oh, what's wrong with the cat? Oh no! Hold on, I gotta get medicine. All right. Maybe we can have, you're awake. You have school in a minute, but you can give the cat the vet treat so we, we fix this problem quick. Cause uh oh, the cat is glowing. <laughs> Olivia, Little, H, and La Witch, and Katia, thank you for the subs. Send all students alone, please. I don't care to go with you. All right, well anyway, if you're just coming into the stream, I'll give you a real rundown of who's in this household. Um, this is my sim Moss, they use they them pronouns. Uh, they are a freshly turned young adult. Like we literally aged up like yesterday in game. Brand new young adult. Um, we are currently living with our two younger brothers. Uh, for a bit, it was just the three of us teens because their mother died um, because she was so upset that our stupid dad cheated on us with an alien. So he's got a couple alien kids. He's out raising them. We're on our own, um, but we managed to get ourselves set up. Moss has become a quite prolific programmer um, and we hack for money. Uh, <laughs> who are you thinking about someone dead? Um, and now we have our own new house, but that's kind of where we're at. So our brothers are still here. Um, and I think tonight for Love Day, I might go out with Alphaba. Maybe we'll get engaged on Love Day. Might be fun. Are there a lot of in-game transactions in Heyday? Um, they sell like gems, uh, and you can use the gems to like speed stuff up and things, but I don't really feel like you need to do that. Um, and, and people might want to buy like decor with gems, you know, like there's like free decor and then there's like paid gem money. Um, that was Piper. That was our great, 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 19 times grandmother. Um, <laughs> uh, but you don't have to spend money on Heyday. So, it's not, you know how some mobile games are like, it's like really pay to win? I don't think Heyday is the worst thing. They really try to get you to spend money, but I don't feel the need to spend a lot of money on Heyday. So, I have bought gems before, but it's not like I regularly buy gems in Heyday, you know? <laughs> it's like, 
not a, not that enticing yeah, not to me. Me. So, um, I find it hard to play without pay, without paying, really. What is it that, like, makes you want to pay money for it? I've bought the farm pass. The farm pass is enticing to me, but the gems aren't so much enticing to me. Um, and I don't always buy the farm pass, only sometimes. When my brother and sister are in their heyday eras, that's when I want the farm pass. But if they're not playing, then I don't care about it. You see? <laughs> okay. You need to practice programming for five hours. I guess we'll just stay home and work on that all day, huh? How do I still have those ghosts around? I don't really understand why the Gen 1 is. Ooh! You want to make a friend? Whatever. That's our evil father. He's not evil. He just unintentionally resulted in our mother's death, but... Sibling rivalry heyday edition. Oh, it's not like a heyday thing, a, a rivalry thing. It's like a, it's fun when they're playing because we, like, then people were all, like, helping each other and working on, like, the, the stuff together. It's not like a, I want to beat them. It's like a, it's fun to play together situation for me. I don't know. Your sim just caught two violins in a row? Oh, nice. That's big money. You and your mom have a rivalry in heyday? That's kind of fun. I don't like when games get competitive. I'm a real baby about stuff like that. I'm boring. What's wrong with the cat now? Oh, frankly, I don't care. I can't be bothered with it. <gasps> hey, Moss. It's me, Elphaba. Do you want to go on a date to the Garden of Olives? Yes. I'm gonna propose to her at Olive Garden? <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Okay, I'm into it. I'm ready. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you, game. You just make my day every time. It's so fun. It's always so fun. It's nice because we lived in Tartosa for a long time, so it's a good chance to like get back to Tartosa for a bit. Oh my god, and olives are green. This place isn't green, but olives are green. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves a little romantic table by the window. I built this uh, back when Wedding Stories came out, by the way. We tried to make it look like an olive garden in real life, but we built this with the wedding pack at the time. Um, so, hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. I'm about to propose to my Sims girlfriend at Olive Garden. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Glad you could be here for this really important moment. Oh, no, 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 don't stand up. Let's order for the table. Please. You look like you're having a good time, Moss. You're so right. I'll get me a lemonade. Maybe I'll get her a coffee. Um, I think Moss should order something green. I hate to say it, but like, the garden salad is the greenest thing on the menu. Maybe she can get something that's not green, something normal. This, this is kind of green. Come on. Alphaba is a spellcaster, yeah. Alphaba is a spellcaster. Oh, she's giving me a rose! Ah, I missed it. Cute, okay. Um, I'm not gonna propose yet. I'm not ready yet. I wanna wait till after we eat. Can we please sit now? I don't know why you're standing. Okay. Romance. Blow a kiss. Did that say ask if single? I sure hope not. <laughs> I don't think that should be showing up. <laughs> Leah, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Um, I was just telling chat, you caught us at a good time because we're about to propose to our girlfriend at Olive Garden. This place is called Garden of Olives. Maybe I will ask her if she's single and just see what she says, because I'm kind of curious to know. Imagine she says yes. Okay, our food's here. I'm gonna get some pictures. We need, like, this for the scrapbook. You know? Photos. You watched the Grammys at Olive Garden last night. Oh! That's nice. 
It's a glitch, you have it too? Yeah, that's kind of what I think is happening. It's not that big of a deal, it's just kind of funny. Um... Alpha is single. What? <laughs> um, I, I'm choosing to close my eyes. I didn't read that. She didn't mean what she said. She's joking. She's joking. Sometimes me and Dan do this, where I'll like make a joke about well, it's different because I'll say about my boyfriend and he's like, you don't have a boyfriend because we're married. But maybe that's what she's doing. She's like, yeah, I'm single. Ha ha ha. In front of her partner, you know. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> I want to propose to her, but is the weather nice outside? Oh, it's actually beautiful outside. Oh my gosh. Let's come up here. Let's get engaged, like, on this cute little deck or something. Yeah? Come on. Oh, okay, she's bringing her salmon. At uh, Moss, you peed. I, I'm not doing that right now. Does Moss have green leg hair? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun, right? Sorry for zooming in on Moss's leg hair. I don't know, but <laughs> I thought it was kind of fun. <laughs> okay. You want me to be an astronaut? No. You just put the dirty plate on the ground. Oh my gosh. Why must you do this to me? Okay, romance, propose. Come here. Come back. No, 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 I wanted it to be up here so I could see the water! No! No! Oh, nothing ever goes right in this game. No! Where is she even going? I'm resetting Moss. Okay, let's see if we can talk to her again. I don't want her to move in with me yet, I'm not ready. I'm gonna bring us back up. Come on. Chat here. Come on, take two. They really want to get engaged inside Olive Garden, I think is the problem. <laughs> no, I have a job. What is wrong with these, this game? It's really testing me today. Okay. We littered two, we left our drink cup there. Uh-oh. Okay, ready? Romance, propose. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hold on. Imagine she says no. It's pretty out here though. Look at that. Oops, didn't get a good picture. I like it. Okay, she did say yes, we're fine. Oh, and then it started raining. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Lish, we're good. Thank you for the subs. I'll get a picture of this, too. Well, it, for it to start raining, like, after the engagement, technically, it's romantic. They're, like, kissing in the rain and stuff, you know? No, she's not an alien, but she is a spellcaster. So she, she does have magic powers. Kiss in the rain. I'm excited about this. This is really cute. Kiss! Thank you. Um, maybe, can I have Algy like take a picture of us? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You can take one of just Moss. I just wanna remember this moment. Oh, maybe not, okay. Aww, see? No, no, don't be embarrassed. Eh, I'll take this one. I think that's cute. Okay. Yeah, it would be awkward if Elphaba were an alien. That would kind of like 
you know, ruin the vibes. Okay, um, should we go home now, I guess? Did you say algae? Yeah, the kids' names are Moss, Algae, and Pickle. I guess they're not kids anymore, either, but, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I think Pickle is cute, too. I like the name. I genuinely like the name. Yeah, Tilly, it was your idea for Moss. I think Algae, it's someone in chat, I don't remember who. I mean, there's been a lot of suggestions. I'm the one who picked them. I curate the suggestions. <laughs> so, is Moss short for anything? No, Moss is just Moss. First name Moss, last name Potts. Ah, no, oh my, I almost ate the cake. Jeez, get it together, Kayla. I was trying to feed them. Ah! Sorry, the sound of that unpausing actually was horrifying to me. Okay, I need to rename this cow plant Shrek. I don't know if these other cow plants that we've already had have names. Little Simsy, Little Simsy, Little Simsy, no. The new one's gonna be called Shrek though, eventually. Okay, kids, would you care to like, I don't know. I don't know where all the cow pants come from. Oh, our inventory. Sorry for yawning. I was gonna say maybe they could work on- Oh, it's a Friday night. You don't have to work on homework. And Moss, if you want to, maybe you could woohoo with Alphaba. Don't try for a baby. Not yet. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Oh, we're kissing in our secret lair. <laughs> I should fire the ranch hand. Oh yeah, we have to fire the ranch hand now. Is he here? I saw him a second ago. There he is. I do not have need for a ranch hand anymore, unfortunately. Actions fire. It's because my um unfortunately my goats literally disappeared. Yeah, I do have risky woohoo on, but it's only on one percent or like three percent. I forget. Either way, the chances of of her getting pregnant. Extremely low. I'll check, but not high chance of this. Watch it be 50%? No, no, no. I would notice if it were. Because I haven't messed with the risky woohoo settings in a while. It is The Sims, though, so anything could happen. Oh, don't send home! Oh my god, that's so mean. <laughs> I don't see pregnancy. No, we're fine. What I did want to do also, actually, is now that Moss is a young adult, I kind of wanted to give them a, a tattoo. We talked about getting potentially a cow plant tattoo, but I'm open to looking through the options because I don't know yet. Um, you can set the, the woohoo risk by using a mod called MC Command Center and like an add-on for that mod called uh, MC Woohoo. And there's like a risky woohoo percent chance that you can set up. Um, and that's how you do it. So, okay. Tattoos. So, options, like I was saying, number one is the cow plant tattoo, which is either this one or this one. I don't think I want both. I kind of, I like that one better, I think. So we can get the cow plant tattoo, but maybe we could get another tattoo. I want one on our arm. I don't really know which. No. Oh. Moss. Moth. Moss. Moth. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think that's perfect. <laughs> also, uh, just to address a question in chat. Um, so uh, the question is, why delete an innocent mistake in a message? Um, it, that's a silly take about this. The mods will delete every single message that misgenders my sim. 
Um, it's, it's not cool. Uh, I know that you might think, oh, it's just a sim, and oh, it's just an accident. And it might be an accident, that's totally fine. It happens. Uh -huh. Just learn for next time. Um, so we're gonna delete any time that it happens, because then it won't happen again, hopefully. You're not in trouble, we just delete it so no one has to see it. Um, you failed to notice that there are a lot of folks in chat that don't want to see this sim misgendered because it hurts them personally because of their identity in real life. Um, so it's not just a sim. <laughs> um, and innocent mistake or not, we're still gonna delete it. It doesn't matter, it's deleted. It's not a big deal. No one, no one's in trouble. We just ask you to not do it again and we delete it and remind people. It's kind of how it goes, you know? Um, it's, a, it's a real basic thing to respect pronouns of people. Um, and I know that like accidents happen, maybe you didn't know it's okay. Um, just, you know, apologize and move on. That's the, the best thing to do in real life, too, is to not make a big deal about it. <laughs> um, it's just move on, make sure you're correct the next time, you know? Um, anyway, so we will go back into game. We have our cool tattoos now. I like the moth tattoo. I really like it. <laughs> um, and then we'll, I guess it's kind of late so they can just go to bed so we can work on like skills and stuff tomorrow. I don't know. Um, pulp cam? Oh, I can get you a pulp cam too. Where are you, pulp? Asleep in the dark office. Oh, you can barely even see her. Ew! <laughs> The way the cloud like slowly grew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh my god. Let me get pull the bath, sorry. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Stinky, that's gross. <sighs> Alright, well, what's her face? Alphabet left. So we'll deal with that later. Um and then Moss, it's only 10 p.m. I guess you could just get some food. You went to bed a bit early, that's okay too. Pulp is a girl? Um, Pulp is like anything and everything all at once, is kind of what we, we say. Um, pulp, pulp uses any and all pronouns. Um, pulp is... Pulp transcends all. We sort of see Pulp as like... Well, well for one thing, part alien. Um, and... God. <laughs> so, there's a lot of complicated lore surrounding this creature. Um, but yeah, pulp, you, any pronouns are good for pulp. <laughs> so, you've, you've heard of dog. Um, you've ever heard of dog backwards? Pulp. So, anyway, it's hard to explain. It's just, the, the longer, the more time you spend with pulp, the more you'll, the more you'll start to understand. Um, so, <laughs> but Pulp, like, immortal, you know, s magical powers, like, it's a special creature. <laughs> Is Pulp related to the mother plant in Strangerville? I'm actually gonna go with yes. I think that Pulp, I, I think that Pulp just chooses this form, like, for the time being, you know? And Pulp's cousin is is the mother plant, yeah. Why not? <laughs> a book series you read had a dog that was God, really? I used to, uh, you know that show, that TV show, Dog with a Blog. Not the same thing, but close. <laughs> okay, I want to get some more pictures. Wow. See, you get it, right? Okay. Yeah, we said that Pulp is related to the alien baby, but not like in a close way. We said that Pulp is related to Polly Nation, who is the sim that um, these sims' dad cheated on their mom with. Um, we said that Pulp is related to Polly, but not like closely related to Polly. Just like Polly's an alien, Pulp's an alien, they're probably distant cousins. You know? Um, but not like, they're not like closely related, distant related. So, how do you turn headline effects off so quickly? That's a really good question. Look at this. What sim am I on right now? Um, say I want to take a screenshot. Ew, Plumbob. 
Plum Bob gone. What I just did is press the space bar. Uh, when you press the space bar, it cycles through the Sims. And the Plum Bob is only over the Sim that you are clicked on. Um, so if you want to get rid of the Plum Bob for a sec, you can just press space bar and then it'll cycle through. This is helpful, especially if you ever play like a challenge where you have a lot of Sims, like if you're playing the 100 baby challenge, the space bar cycling is really nice because you can like click on their needs and like flip through and be like, okay, you're fine, you're fine, you know, and go through it all. If you only have one Sim, oh, you can't do it like that then. <laughs> then you could use the full on headline effects sheet. It's headline effects space off and it turns it off completely, uh, but you may not always want that. So, okay, everybody to bed, please. Everybody to bed. Been playing for years and didn't know about Spacebar. Yeah, I mean, how would you know? There's so many hotkeys in this game and it, there's not a lot of information out there about them. So it's easy to miss. It's really easy to miss. Um, okay, the cat's upset again. I'm just gonna, honestly, you guys. Oops, I wanted to cheat need. I did this once before and I deleted the sim by accident. It was pretty bad, but I not this time. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. Sammy, you know, and Kitty and Little, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, let me save as well. Do not replace the, repeat the incident, please. Yeah, I literally, I did that. I like pressed destroy object and I deleted the cat once. So, anyway, it's fine. We got it back. <laughs> Play the sim as much you don't notice Plum Bob. Yeah, I, it's only when I'm trying to take screenshots. Like, if I wanted to get a screenshot right here of, of Moss, for example, sleeping. Um, like, say I want to take a picture for my thumbnail on YouTube or whatever, and for some reason I want them to be sleeping in it. I, I don't really want the Plum Bob in it, so I would press the space bar to make it go away. But it's not that often that I do that. I don't always feel the need to have it be gone. It's just like sometimes. Um, okay. Well, we'll sleep through the night then, hopefully. Um, I think... Oh, I need to start working on trying to fix this too. Should I, oh, I replaced it. I was gonna try and repair it, but then I replaced it myself. Oops. Um, yeah, that's the thing, French. It really depends on what, um, it really depends on what kind of screenshot you're going for too. Cause I don't always care, but oftentimes it's just like preferable to me to not have the plumb bob in it, but it's not like the biggest of deals, you know? Can ghosts repair things? Yeah, they break them and then they oftentimes will start repairing them and not finish. I just don't trust the ghosts to fix it properly, so. Sometimes they do fix it though, but usually it's like they fix it after they were the ones that broke it. <laughs> See, look, this one's fixing things. Oh, I think we're having a bigger ghost problem today than we normally do. That is rough. I'll just leave him for now. It's okay. Thought Alan was dead. Oh. Uh, this would be the 13th, Alan. Um, so, Alan's dead. And Alan's dead, and Alan before that's dead, and the Alan before that, and then... <laughs> There's quite a few Alans that have passed on. <laughs> the next one's gonna be called Donkey, I think. We're gonna get a, a new rat when that one dies. But, like, and then, and then the cow plant is called Shrek, so... 13, that's so many. Yeah, some of them died of old age. Some of them died of me forgetting to feed them, but not all of them, only some had that problem. See, this is fixed now, so that's good. Some were glitched as well. A couple of them I had to delete them because they were bugged. So that's not my fault either. Okay, you use the bathroom then and then try and repair this. How about that? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, the rodents in this game have really short lifespans. They die of old age quite quickly. Come on, moss, let's get it together. Go, shoot. 
I hate this. They just stand there. They don't do anything. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Um, do you think that Taylor announced their new album because we reached the 13th Allen? <laughs> do you think that Taylor Swift heard that we were on Allen number 13? So she said, I'm going to announce a new album. You might think that it's because of like, you know, her winning a Grammy yesterday, but actually it's because of my Sims wrote in. That's the truth behind it, believe it or not. <laughs> True story. <laughs> okay, after this, do you wanna mop the floor and then take a shower? Oh, yikes, you need to take a shower too. Here, shower in there, take an angry poop. Get leftovers. What about you? Are you gonna eat the cow plant? No. No! You guys, we're for real gonna die from this. When you said, oh, put all the cow plants out, somebody else has been eaten by this recently. I did not do this. I tried to stop him. It's not my fault. What did you? Allergies, essence of sadness, pickles, essence of anger. Pickle got got too? Oh my God. Great. Oh, you thought I was eating it again? Oh no, 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 not me. I was not doing that. Nausea from mopping a puddle? Oh, because you're squeamish. Oh my. <laughs> you can eat uh, the cow plant twice is what kills you, but it has to be twice within a day, I think. Not just twice in general. Uh oh, sorry for yawning again. My bad, chat. My bad. Okay. Um. Moss, I know you're like hanging out, but that's kind of inconvenient for me. I'm gonna have you start cooking. I would like for you to cook a, a meal. Maybe you could cook like... Uh-oh. The game doesn't wanna cook. Okay, we're fine. We're level eight cooking skill? That seems like a lot to me. Okay, they'll come cook some of this then. And then you haven't showered yet. They'll come cook some of that. And then after that, maybe we can work on our mixology skill a bit. One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Yeah. I'd be curious to know who it is. Oh, okay. Really? You're cooking in right there? Okay. Good, thank you. <laughs> That's really helpful. Okay, I might have the kids work on some school projects. Our, our teens can get to working on some of that probably. Um, which one would be good? That's handiness skill. I think everybody needs the handiness skill a little bit. All right, happy Saturday. Let's come work. Moss will cook. <laughs> How old are these Sims? Uh, this Sims a young adult, but like freshly young adult. And their two younger brothers live here too, and they are both uh -huh. teens. Um, we'll stay teens for a little bit longer. I'm only gonna move them out. I'll age them up and move them out as soon as Moss wants to have kids of their own. But they can stay for a while longer because we don't have any parents left. So we're kind of on our own. Um, well, we have a parent left. Our dad's still alive, but we're not on speaking terms because he cheated on her mom and then she died, so. May she rest in peace. Okay, apple pie's in the fridge. Moss, I want you to practice making drinks. We have to max the mixology skill, so we have a lot to worry about. We shall start there. Um, okay. Um, 
I guess you just work on it all day, probably. People ask a lot if you can still use the bar when it's faced backwards like this, and yes. <laughs> um, the bar, uh, obviously the other side is where the bar stools would go, but you don't have to have the bar like, hello? Oh, extra credit. Oh, you finished that really quickly. Um, wow. Uh, but yeah, they they can have it pushed against the wall. They just can't sit there, obviously, if it's pushed against the wall. But I don't really find that to be too big of a deal. You know what? I was I've been wanting to get like an outdoor um, like bar and grill area. I wonder if I could replace this stuff with the bar and grill of my dreams. Cause that might be kind of nice if we built that out over here. Maybe. Should I use the bright green one? I don't know. I don't really like it. I think that could be good though. Instead of putting the second, we ha well, we have a cauldron in the basement, so we don't need to have another one. Um, where? What is it called? I'm looking for the perfect patio pack. I want like one of these that kind of blends into the ground a bit better. Okay, I would put the grill in there. Wow, this is interesting, maybe. Is that like so totally weird to have it be in the corner? <laughs> I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Moss and Alphaba did get engaged, yeah. So they, they are engaged now. Um, they're, uh, she doesn't live here yet, but she will. That would be a good spot for a hot tub too. It's okay, stop, Kayla, stop, stop. You do not need to have a hot tub everywhere in this game. It's like, we don't even use the last one that we had. So just calm down. Can I put vines on the bar to make it mossy? I don't really know if that'll work the way that I want it to or not. I guess we'll see. Um, I like how that looks. Maybe I'll put one of these things here so we can grill a little bit and then I'll get a couple green bar stools. This I think will just be nice for the party. Like if we, we have to have parties and stuff and work on our mixology skill. So it'll be nice to have uh, a cute space outside for people to come in and sit during the parties and then they'll have to come by our shark pond so it's like really fun you know i think a pizza oven could be fun too we have one of those before and then i didn't bring it with me so i could get one back although the pizza oven does not come in green unfortunately and you know what i do want to get also fairy lights 100% we need some fairy lights. And then I should stop spending money because <laughs> I think that we're gonna get ourselves in trouble doing this. <laughs> um, okay. Just some fairy lights around the corner. Oh, you know what? Send it all the way across. That's actually really beautiful. We can get rid of this older grill now because we don't really need that anymore. I guess I'll keep that table for now. I won't do too much else out here yet. Let me just quickly see if a Sim can even get down there. Who's the one that finished? You? Are you helping? Oh no, you're working carefully. They're working on it together. I guess I'll let them do it for now. That's fine. <laughs> Tay, Emmy, Alyssa, thank you for the subs. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, we should stop spending. If we if we overspend, well, then we're gonna be in trouble. So we need to make sure we can afford the bills when the time comes. Moss, do you wanna come try and practice making drinks over here? Oh, can you knock it over there? Okay, just as I feared. I'll do it smaller. <laughs> that was my concern. I wasn't sure if they were gonna be able to use it, but 
we just wanted to see. Moss, come practice again. Moss. Moss, what are you, oh, I guess you're hungry. But after that, I've gotten three job calls today. Oh, our dad is texting. I heard that you got engaged. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you and Alphaba. Yeah, I sure hope so. Well, it works. And you can see our moss tattoo, moth tattoo. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. That should be birthday gifts, I think, in the mail. Is he invited to the wedding? Ooh, I don't know. I feel quite complicated about Lincoln because I, I do actually want them to have a relationship with their dad. We just, we need some distance between, between Princess's death and seeing him again, you know? corner counter might look nice. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, but I'm still a little bit worried about overdoing it with the counters and then them not being able to get through anymore because it has to be this one and that's like the same width still. So maybe the round one, but I don't really know if that looks good or not. I guess we can leave that until Moss tries to leave the area. Um, we shall leave it until- oh, well they managed to get away, so never mind, we're fine. Okay. I think... Hi Maeve, how are you? Come on. You have to do so much mixology. This is gonna be a very annoying skill. Oh! I am delighted that you recommended I spend some time with Rowan Brooks. I was amused the entire time. Okay. Sure. Wow. Whatever. Um, let me sell that. Oh, I've got a picture of moss now. This was like a picture of just moss, but moss was very happy on their engagement day. And I thought that was nice. So I wanted it and I'm gonna put it up on the wall in their bedroom. Are the sharks hungry? Oh, excellent question. I don't know. Come feed them just to be safe. Your social's a bit low. Maybe you could like chat with Alphaba on the phone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How do you get the sharks? Oh, this pond is from Get Famous. Um, and then you can pay to stock it. Mine's already stocked, but you can pay to stock it with sharks. They cost me $3,000. But it was worth it. Yeah, I really like the backyard. I feel like the backyard of this house turned out amazingly. I'm really, really, really enjoying this house. It's pretty cool, I think. Um, I've really been quite happy with all of the not so berry houses recently. Um, it's been fun to, to build them and stuff. Okay, let me sell this. A little bit of extra money, that should help with the bills. <laughs> That should be good. Should you get horse ranch or cottage living? Oh, I think that I would probably pick cottage living over horse ranch, but you know yourself better than I know you, and you'll know if you think horses are better. I think that I like a lot of the furniture from horse ranch more. I like the world in cottage living more. Um, I like the cast in cottage living more, and I like the gameplay in Cottage Living more. <laughs> so maybe maybe Cottage Living is the answer. But Horse Ranch is fun. It's just like, if you're only gonna pick one, I would probably pick Cottage Living. Horses, um, so with Cottage Living, we're kind of using, we're probably gonna use some of the plant gameplay with Alphaba once she moves in. Whereas like, the horses are a little bit harder for me to use in my everyday gameplay unless I actively seek out and intend to have a horse because the horses are, they are so much work to take care of. Um, and that's not a bad thing. It's kind of fun, but like having a horse is like a, 
a big undertaking with your sims so it's hard for me like when i had a horse in this save um it was actually really difficult for me to take care of it because i had like eight sims and i was so overwhelmed and it's like it, it's not as casual as the other pets are like from cats and dogs which makes sense because it's literally a horse um but yeah, it was, it's just harder to like fit into your average gameplay unless you're actively trying to play with a horse. Whereas the cottage living gameplay, you can sort of like scale it down a little bit. If you could like play with a full cottage, have a chickens and, and a cow and all this stuff, or you could have like just a little bit of garden planters. Like you don't, you could, you could play like half at a time. You can't half play horse ranch. Like it's, it's all or nothing with that one. You're either in or you're out <laughs> with horse ranch. Um, so it's, the, the gameplay is just more of an ordeal, which isn't bad. It's fun for what it is, but, you know, when you're trying to optimize your spending, <laughs> it's better to pick one that you can fit into more of your everyday stuff, you know? That's not as big of a commitment, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna feed the cow plants. Feeding the cow plants are gonna become like a full-time job. Can you accept self-discovery traits on Not So Berry? That is a great question. We've been talking about this a little bit. Someone asked the same thing a few weeks ago. So if you're not familiar, the Not So Berry Challenge, um, it has a bunch of predetermined, preset traits that, that me and Zoe wrote out for each generation. Um, and the idea uh, is that the traits are the color theme of the generation. The whole story is based around that. So like on the red rose gen, hot-headed, snob, and romantic, the romantic, the hot-headed traits are red. Um, so when it comes to self-discovery traits, that's new and didn't exist when we wrote this. My thoughts are as follows. It's kind of up to you. <laughs> um, there are some things that I think are like actively conflicting with the story that I maybe wouldn't accept um, just for me when I'm playing. Um, and, and like, I, there, are, I think I have declined almost every, if not every self-discovery trait that I've gotten in Not So Berry, but I don't think there's anything wrong with accepting a self-discovery trait in this game. Um, especially cause it like fits in with what you're trying to, to do. Um, like saying that I got a pop-up that was, I think it tried to change my evil trait to good. And I was like, no, <laughs> no way am I doing that. Absolutely not. But like maybe accepting another trait um, is fine. If it matches the color, maybe it's fine. It's kind of up to you. I don't really feel like there's a hard and fast rule about that. Um, I, I feel sort of strongly just in general about like using the rules that you like with any sort of challenge. So like if you really want to accept them, do it. If you don't want to, don't. Um, I don't, I don't think it matters that much with the, the ones, because at least you earn them, you know? It's kind of similar to, like, buying a trade, I guess, if you were to buy the reward store trades. Not really the same, but, eh. But picking it if it fits in is kind of what I would probably say. If it fits with the vibes, then it's all good, you know? Um... You haven't tried to, your sims haven't tried to change traits in a long time. Oh, really? I've gotten a lot of pop-ups about it. I wonder if maybe you turned it off by accident. Or maybe they just haven't gotten any pop-ups. I don't know. Most times it comes from, like, uh, like when you, like, max skills and stuff, it tries to give them to you. Um, I don't know. Oh, you discover them a lot, but you don't want to change any. Oh, I get it. Sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, it's rare that I have my sim change their traits. The pop-up where it's like, oh... You've been doing this a lot. Are you sure you're evil? Do you want to be good? I very rarely accept like the op option to switch, but I, I accept the new pop-ups. I don't like the, um, I don't know. There's some traits that I don't really want to have. So I, I don't know, it kind of depends, but I don't want to change normally. I just want to get new ones. Cause like usually when I pick the traits, I play legacies. So it's like with Moss, there's predetermined traits or I like to randomize the traits. So the pop-up change, I don't really know if I care. And they get like the cheerful pop-up so often. It feels like nonstop every Sims like, oh, I think you're cheerful. I think you're cheerful. Not everybody's cheerful. Speak for yourself. Okay, collect the meal. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, it's not gonna work, I don't think, yeah, it won't. 
That would have been our siblings prom. Too bad. Oh, ew. Poor quality pizza from Pickle. That's okay. We can all eat some poor quality pizza. That seems like fun to me. A little bit of family time, you know? <laughs> I take care of my sims flawlessly. That does not make them cheerful. They are happy due to my sacrifices. <laughs> there you go, Miv. They don't deserve to be happy. That's not, that's not okay. All right. We're all gonna come eat. I guess we'll pee first and then eat. I will still eat pizza no matter what. That's kind of my feelings about pizza too. We've all eaten bad pizza in our day and it's okay. Sometimes it's good that it's bad pizza, you know? It like fills a, a niche. You need to have bad pizza sometimes. You can't only eat good pizza, that would be boring. Bad pizza is like what you want on a certain occasion. You're eating pizza right now? Oh, I'm jealous. Me and Dan have like no food in the house. I meant to go to the grocery store yesterday and then I didn't. So, <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> I meant to and then I ended up not. <laughs> so, <laughs> I might go tonight after I get off stream. Um, okay, put that away. It's only a Saturday night. I don't really want to get married yet. I... <sighs> I almost, maybe I'll try and get married like next weekend. Maybe I'll move Elphaba in soon and we'll we'll aim to have a wedding like later on, but not straight away. Oh, you know what we should do? You should play chess with your brother. Cause that's a fun way to build skill and it fills your social need and your fun need. Just so we can like, you know, hang out somehow a little bit. Let's try that. Do you have a pile of horse manure on the shelf? Yeah, yeah. That's in honor and in memory of my Sims dead horse. So, I need it. <laughs> well, that filled our skills quite quickly. Okay. What do you wanna do now? You have loads of time. I guess, I mean, honestly, Moss, Practice making drinks. I'm sorry to make you just work on skills all weekend, but it's gotta be done. Miff, I respect that. You have to do it sometimes. What kind of cookies? Did you buy cookies or did you make them? What's the situation with the cookies? I said I was gonna make cookies like last week and then I never did. I think I even said on stream, I was like, oh, I should make cookies tonight. And then I, didn't. Next day, chat's like, how are the cookies? Didn't make them. <laughs> We're gonna bake tomorrow. That's actually a good point. We're doing a baking stream tomorrow. That's part of why I needed to go to the store yesterday and I didn't. So I'm gonna have to go to the store either tonight or tomorrow before the stream. Um, but we're doing a baking stream tomorrow because tomorrow is Rick Ashley's birthday. Um, so that is my plan. Oh, Pickle's going through a distant phase. Okay. I wanna try, I'm gonna do like Valentine's Day baking. So that's my plan. I saw, hold on. Um, let me see if I can find a picture. I saw someone on TikTok do something kind of like this. It's like you make a, hold on, heart shaped. It's like you make a log of cookie dough and you put hearts in the middle. And then when you, when you slice them, there's a heart. I wanna do something like this. I think tomorrow, cause it fits the the roll, Rick roll vibes cause of Rick Astley's birthday, but it's also cutesy Valentine's day. And I've never tried to do this before, but I don't think it'll be too difficult. The person on TikTok, she um, rolled out the red dough and cut little hearts and then like stacked them together into a log. And then she put like the rest of the dough around it and then kind of like rolled it for a sec and then just refrigerated it and then cut them. So it seemed like it's not too bad. Um, and that looks really cool. But it's like those ones that you buy at the store, but homemade. <laughs> um, like those, like the holiday cookies, the Pillsbury holiday cookies or whatever. Um, so I think it might be kind of cute if we tried that tomorrow. So that's what I'm leaning towards making. Um, but I haven't 100% decided, which is probably bad because I am doing it tomorrow on stream. <laughs> but it's okay. Have I ever had a jammy dodger? I have. And last year we made cookies kind of like that as well. Um, 
ours were I put less sugar and I had bigger heart cutouts but we made cookies kind of like this last year like a sandwich cookie with the jam in the middle um, we did that kind of thing last year so I want to try something different can I share the recipe oh I don't have a recipe though is the problem um, I'm, I'll, I'll post a link to the sugar cookie recipe that we're using but um, I assume that you could probably do it with most sugar cookie recipes I guess it might need to be like a nice and like pliable one but I don't know you could probably do it with your own sugar cookie recipe I'm not gonna like follow anybody's instructions I just saw somebody um, like posting pictures and I was like I want to do that but there's a lot of cookie recipes out there so <laughs> oh that'll be fun Marissa I like that that's good um okay do you want to go to bed moss probably it's getting a little late getting a little bit late um well yeah you would get like a nice cutout cookie recipe not just anyone but um I'm I don't think that you need to worry too much about the specific recipe that I am going to use <laughs> I'm sure that whatever one that you want to try would be good too so <laughs> um it, it'll be a vegan cookie recipe as well which is gonna probably complicate things a little bit but um, I don't know. I've not really had issues with my vegan sugar cookies spreading, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, when I'm posting this speed build of the house, the speed build of this house, probably not for a few weeks. Um, I have a couple speed builds that I have lined up to post first, so not yet. Um, a couple weeks still, and then we'll post the speed build of this one. <laughs> I have a lot of, uh, builds stockpiled if you will this weekend i'm gonna post the loft build that we did last weekend so that is the plan okay we are awake happy sunday you are still in a bad mood because you let yourself get eaten by a cow plant which frankly is your own fault all right get a move on hurry up hurry up you are being so silly Okay, there we go. I'm gonna talk to the dog as well. So we can try and get our things up. Love making vegan Linzer cookies. Yeah, we made them, we made the Lin Linzer cookies last year. They're, they're pretty good. I love a like homemade raspberry jam filling. I, whenever I bake cake, which isn't that often, but like every time I bake cake, almost exclusively put a raspberry jam filling in it. And I did that with, I used the same recipe and just put it inside of cookies last year. Um, and it was really good. I mean, you actually can't go wrong with like a homemade delicious little jam and some sugar cookies. Come on. Come on. That's what I did at least, but <laughs> Alan needs to be checked. Uh oh. This isn't going to build my social need, is it? That's so annoying. Maybe you talk to Moss and I'll have the other sim take care of Alan. Spread nasty rumor. Jeez. Come here. Fill food, clean habitat, feed treat. Nice. Likes deception. <laughs> Moss, you can like deception. That's fine by me, actually. Thought I'd prefer cooked fruit. No, I don't like cooked fruit, but when I make my own homemade raspberry jam, it's different. You misunderstand me. It's, it's pie. A whole fruit cooked into pie absolutely vile disgusting i'm not eating a bite of apple pie but like a homemade jam there's not like solid chunks of it in there it is mushed down and it's not as bad and jam is like it's different it's like you melt down frozen raspberries and sugar and they like get all you it's different <laughs> It's different. Jam is like fruit sauce. It's not the same as cooked fruit in the way that I don't I don't want to eat a chunk of cooked apple because it gives me the ick, the texture of it. I don't have that about jam. So it's a texture problem. Can you make a chunkless apple pie? Uh, you. I mean, I guess you probably could like smush it, but I don't want that. It's not for me. I don't like applesauce either. I think I also just don't like cooked apples. I like um, other fruits in jam. I I like raw apples. 
cooked apples are not for me. I don't, applesauce is, is a strange one. I don't really like her. Um, you heard someone say they hate peanut butter and jelly because it's a sauce sandwich. This reminds them of that. Oh, that makes sense to me, actually. I could see myself having that feeling, except I eat peanut butter. That's a safe thing for me to eat. And I don't like to buy jam or jelly, but I will eat grape jelly. And I like to make jam filling for desserts when I make it. But I'm not a big sauce person. So I understand. <laughs> Raw apples are nasty. Do you think so? I like apples. I like to eat apples with peanut butter on them. I'll eat like, I'll cut up an apple and I'll put peanut butter on top of the slices and eat them. Um, my mom used to do that for us when I was a kid. So that's why I still do it. But um, I like it. I think it's yummy. Peanut butter is vile and I stand by that. That's so interesting. It's funny how like a lot of us have sensory issues with food but we all have different sensory issues with food. <laughs> it's like what's safe for me is a no-go for you and like vice versa. It's kind of funny how that happens, right? How like people just get these weird little things that are so different. Um, and it's like, it's like no question, no way could I ever eat this thing. And then for you, it's like your number one safe food. <laughs> it's funny how that happens. Okay, would you like to program a little bit, Moss? I think you would. You need to maintain focus for two hours straight of video gaming. So, I shall do it now. Um, play game. Play Sims Forever. Me too. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll just replace it, it's fine. It's fine. Cottage cheese is awful for you. Oh no, cottage cheese, the, the, Simple thought of that give me such an ick. I can't even I don't even want to think about it. I Don't even want to think about that at all <laughs> yeah. I never could do like dairy stuff like that though yogurt no chance I I've never no can't eat that no way when I was a kid absolutely no shot was I eating yogurt like just couldn't do it Could not do it no. <laughs> oh, you're making- Oh, you're making mac and cheese in the- in the cauldron! Oh, wow. Not even soy yogurt? Well, it's a- it's a texture thing. It's a texture thing. Um, it's not so much a dairy thing as it is a texture thing. Like, um, I can't- The- the, the thought of it, it's like- Jiggly slime cream. Ugh. <laughs> I can't. You. <laughs> no, 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 no. No way. Anyway, I can't eat that. You like Greek yogurt? Oh, I can't. Oh, I think that about mushrooms too. Mushrooms are slime. I can't have that. No. I wish that I would be strong enough to eat mushrooms because that's like mushrooms are so commonly in the vegetarian options at restaurants and stuff um, or like is the whole vegetarian option and I don't I really struggle to eat mushrooms. <laughs> My mom loves mushrooms. My mom like that's like her pizza topping of choice. When we were kids she used to buy a can of mushrooms and just like eat them and then feed them to us too. I never did. My siblings would eat them though. But I can't I can't do that. No way. <laughs> okay, um, maybe after you finish that, which I guess your sibling is the one finishing it, we'll, we'll eat it in a minute. Oh, it's ready! Oh, good. Here. Grab a snack, everybody. I have two siblings. I've got a younger brother and a younger sister. Um, so there are three of us total. When I eat apples as chips. I've had them before. Um, I don't like them very much. <laughs> I had, um, oh. No! 
Oh, this is so inconvenient. I need to try and maintain focus for two hours straight of video gaming, but the rule is that we have to accept every invitation, so we have to go out. Breaking our streak. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had recently, me and Dan went to Universal fairly recently, and Universal has a new, um, like, Minions-themed world. <laughs> and in it, they have a Minions restaurant. And uh, Dan got, like, some sort of sandwich. I forget what he had. But it came with banana chips. Um, and I had those. I ate one. And it was kind of weird. I never had, like, it was like a long, like, they cut the banana, like, lengthwise. Which was kind of strange. Usually you see them, like, cut like into, like, circles. But it was cut lengthwise, which is quite strange. Um, and I had some of those. The, the Minions world at Universal gives me the ick. Because... One of the rides, you know how minions always like yell about bananas? One of the rides, they, outside of it, they pump like fake banana scent into the air. And when you walk past it, it's like sickening. It's disgusting. I cannot deal with the like, anytime they, like when you go into like a chocolate store, or, like a candy store, or, like the M&M store, and they're like pumping that fake M&M smell so gross the the smell of that i cannot handle it's like enough to give you a headache i can't deal with like the the environment smelling like fake banana banana scent bananas do not smell well it's like the the kind of banana flavoring that you find when you get like banana candy that banana scent it doesn't smell like real bananas but that fake banana scent um the, it's 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 a banana that used to exist but isn't around anymore is what it actually is believe it or not um but uh yeah it's gross <laughs> the smell of that disgusting yuck 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 one of your favorite flavors fake bananas one of your favorite flavors i like bananas i don't want to eat the fake banana stuff that's gross okay do you see our dead mother anywhere i don't <laughs> I think she ditched me. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, anyway, kind of gross. The fake banana candy in Runs is your absolute favorite? Really? Oh, I I don't want that. I don't want that. That's a, This is a very polarizing one, the thought of banana flavored candy. People either love it or hate it. Banana Laffy Taffy is your favorite? I honestly don't know if I've ever eaten the banana Laffy Taffy. I can like imagine the taste of it and it's making me feel sick. I never would have eaten that when I was a kid. I don't think I would want that one. Laffy Taffy, if you're not familiar with it, it's like eating plastic. Literally is what it tastes like and what the texture is like. It's like squishy, chewy plastic. They call it taffy, but it's not, it's, you know, high quality, but it's like plastic. <laughs> it's a very special texture. <laughs> like chemically flavored plastic. <laughs> Molly, thanks for the raid, by the way. Welcome in, everybody. This is our uncle. It's good to see you. No, you know what's more? Like, I take that back. Airheads. Airheads are like eating hard plastic. Laffy Taffy is chewy. Airheads are like hard plastic. <laughs> Those are a strange, strange candy. <laughs> okay, um, not that it's a bad thing, but it is kind of like what it is. Oh, Twizzlers are also like plastic. Yeah, Twizzlers are quite polarizing. Not everybody likes them. My family, my like parents love Twizzlers. I would say that Twizzlers are like one of my dad's favorite candies, which is a weird choice. I don't think they're bad though. I don't think they're good. Like no one would know, I would never choose to eat a Twizzler, but. Interesting choice, Dadsy. Yeah, I'm not, you know what else? My problem is that most of those like, these like chewy kinds of candies, like, um, my dad, his other favorite candy is Mike and Ike's. I can't do that. I don't, it's because I'm so picky. I don't like, I'll eat the red ones and that's it. I don't want any of the other ones at all. I just won't eat them. I don't, I, fake orange won't do it. Fake lime won't do it. Fake lemon won't do it. I only eat the red ones, which is really bad. I'm, I'm terrible. You guys, I'm so picky. I got all kinds of food issues. Um, 
but <laughs> uh, serious, not a joke. But anyway, um, my parents love Mike and Ike's. I don't usually go for like a gummy candy. I never would pick that. I don't really like them. I'll eat like chocolate stuff, but I don't like a gummy candy. Oh, both like cherry, strawberry, that's fine. Any sort of red flavoring, pink is usually fine too. What about Skittles? Oh, like I would eat the red and the purple Skittles, but that's it. I don't eat the other ones. My grandma growing up used to always have a bowl of Skittles on her dining table, and I'd only eat the red and purple ones. You hate red flavoring? Yeah, it's the only one that I eat. <laughs> Isn't that funny? See, we're all different. It's nice. <laughs> a lot of people hate the purple ones, but I'll eat fake grape flavored stuff. My mom hates, hates fake grape flavored stuff. Despises it. You know what's funny also? In the UK, they don't use gelatin in their Starburst. Um, so I can eat British Starburst. <laughs> and um, the, the UK ones, this is also a polarizing opinion. You, you guys have blackcurrant flavored candy in the UK. It's very common. Like when you get like the, like a pack of Starburst just by default, it comes with blackcurrant flavor. We do not have blackcurrant flavor at all here. There's no blackcurrant candy. You, you will not find blackcurrant anything. And I don't like it. Like when I've had it in, in the UK with like flavors of candies and stuff, I think it's disgusting. And you know why we don't have it is because it's not banned anymore, but for many, many, many years, there was like some sort of tree disease that was being spread by the black currants. So the US government like fully banned it. So we don't like they, people never made black currant flavored candy and like didn't sell it in America. So Americans like aren't used to eating it. They didn't grow up eating it. Um, they don't know what it is because we didn't have it forever. <laughs> um, and But it's so interesting how it's like so common. Like you guys have like all these like black currant squash and like all this stuff everywhere. Squash is like concentrated juice. Um, but they have like, it's so common in the UK, but we don't, we just don't have it at all. Very interesting. Grew up on Ribena. Yeah, like Dan's family all love Ribena. We, uh, America's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what is that? Because we just don't have it. So, um, a black currant tastes very different from the flavored things. I believe you. I'm just I like talking about the candy flavor right now, not about the actual food. But yeah, you guys don't have as much grape, I don't think, because you have the black currant stuff instead, which is so interesting. Um, it's funny how that how that works out, but. <laughs> You don't have Ribena? No. You might be able to find it at like certain, maybe they have it in like specialty grocery store type stuff, but it's, this is the kind of thing, like they have it now. You might find like black currant flavored stuff now, but it's not common at all. Like it's not like a standard flavor like it is for Dan in the UK. I think he's sad about that. That's one of those like he misses it about home. There's no black currant flavored anything. <laughs> We're missing out on mini eggs though. Oh, Cadbury sells all their stuff here now. They have like Cadbury mini eggs and stuff now. You can you can get all that here anyway. Um, so, okay, well, I can't find my ghost mom, but we talked to our uncle for a little bit, so I can probably go home now. Do I need to mail Dan some, <laughs> some US Ribena? Maybe. They have, um, Dan doesn't like Ribena though. They have in the grocery store near us, they have a European section and it's got a bunch of European and Australian foods, which is kind of hilarious. Um, and they have a couple candies and they always have one kind of squash. I don't remember what brand it is. And I think it's purple, but I don't think it's only blackcurrant. It's like, I think it's like a berry squash thing. Um, I know because we had to buy it uh, when Dan's family came in town. It's Robinson's, it's Robinson's. Yeah, that's the brand. Um, when Dan's family came in town, uh, they needed it. So we bought like a couple of them. <laughs> uh, maybe it's Robinson's summer berry, berry mix. I don't know what the, what the flavor is called, but it's something like that. It's like a berry one. Um, so. Cadbury in the US is made different and tastes different. Even the, is it? I'd have to ask Dan. Summer fruits, I believe you. It sounds like the British are speaking and they know, but. 
Um, you look for a specialty candy store. Oh, you can find it. They also have, um, at Epcot in Disney World, Dan would never buy anything in there, but they sell a bunch of British candy in there, and we always go in there and, like, laugh at it, because you go into the, like, the, because Epcot is, like, a bunch of different countries. It's a theme park, but, like, there's, like, country stop, stopping points and stuff, and they have all this cute stuff built out, and you can buy, like, treats and stuff from the country sometimes, but for a million dollars. You guys, they'll be sending, selling a candy bar that's supposed to cost, like, one pound for, like, six dollars. Like one of those, like, you know, those like arrow things, those mint, um, mint chocolate with like the, they're like bubbly or whatever, like $6. <laughs> what? Anyway, <laughs> they have a Canada one. Yeah, they do have a Canada one. Um, isn't that so silly? Oh, they died. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't kill them. Maybe I did. Hard to say. Well, this is the new one. I'll just leave it. That's not just the UK US price difference. No, not even close. It's it's because it's Disney and because it's like British. It's it's foreign and it's Disney World uh, is why it's expensive. That's not how much it's supposed to cost. That's not even remotely close to the equivalent pricing, but it's Disney, so. You wouldn't pay six pound for an arrow, wow. See, isn't that ridiculous? Um, no, we don't have those. They do sell them. They have them, like, at Publix here in the, like, British aisle or whatever, the British section, but, um, they don't sell them, like, in the regular candy aisles like you. But you can get them here, like, at the regular grocery store. I don't know what other grocery stores have. I just know what, like, the ones here do, but, um, they do have that in a couple places. The British aisles? No. <laughs> It's not, it's barely, it's like a section like this wide, <laughs> but you drove to Publix and back, did you, Miv? That's really exciting. I'm proud of you. How did it go? Were you, were you comfortable? Did you feel, were you proud of yourself? Um, uh, Shella, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Do you want to see my graves? We just moved, so I have a new grave layout. These are all my family. These are all the people I don't know. I'm here to be a menace. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. We're talking about, um, the British. <laughs> We're just discussing candy, but Annie's mac and cheese is like $7 at the American store in Sweden. Oh my God. I always find it really funny to look at pictures of like the, oh my God. Ah! Sorry, this is our dad. We don't want to talk to him, but I, one of the rules of this generation is we have to hang out with everyone who invites us. We have to accept all invitations, so I'm going. But anyway, what I was going to say is I always find it really funny to look at, um, like, the American aisle in these regular grocery stores because the kind of stuff they have, it's like four kinds of Pop-Tarts, $10. <laughs> like, uh, Lucky Charms. $10, <laughs> marshmallow fluff, $10, $20, who knows? But it's like the most random selection of like candy treats for like four times the price. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> and they'll have like, um, like you might find like, like Frank's hot sauce and like some kind of random stuff like that too. And like, like American brands of peanut butter. <laughs> Um, and stuff like that. So maybe like uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, like you picture like what's the sugariest, silliest food that I can imagine in the grocery store? That's what they have in the in the um, American aisle, which is not like what most people eat, but it's kind of just funny. <laughs> Twinkies. Oh my God, they got Twinkies all over the place in there. So, so many Twinkies. It's like like the candy type, like really sugary breakfast cereals and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they don't really sell a lot of ranch though, which is interesting because um, they don't know what it is though. They're missing out. They don't get it. Um, but I don't, guys, here's a question about Twinkies. Do you like them? I'm gonna expose um, Sasha and her boyfriend Zeus for a second. When they came to my house a couple months ago, I asked, I was like, oh, at the store, what do you guys want for snacks? Like. What, what do you want me to buy when you're coming? Um, and Sasha asked for 
chips. I forget what kind. And Zeus wanted Twinkies. I was like, of all the things that you, I'm at the store, you could buy anything. And you pick Twinkies or your number one pick? Twinkies are like my number bottom, bottom rank pick. I would never pick a Twinkie. But that was his, his top choice for his uh, snack. I got him for him. <laughs> He's Australian. Uh, maybe that's part of the problem. But, <laughs> but I just thought that was interesting that it was his number one pick. They also wanted Cheerios. But I, that makes sense to me. I understand it. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's Polly Nation. Um, the woman who killed our mom. And now we're here, I guess. <laughs> At White Elephant this year, someone brought a six foot long container of Twinkies. That is kind of a fun gift though. Cosmic brownies. Cosmic brownies taste like plastic. I don't know about those. Those things are real weird. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say cosmic brownies? They're like the, um, similar vibes to a Twinkie. But they're, oh, well, that's really zoomed out. Hold on, or zoomed in, I mean. They're like this. Honestly, it looks like what's on the box. It looks fake. Now those are good. Oh, I haven't had one of these in so long. I don't even remember, like, what, this reminds me of elementary school. But I haven't had one of these in ages. Um, they're like kind of gummy. Yeah, they're weird. I like brownies, but I'm like a homemade brownie kind of person. Brownies are like my favorite dessert, but I would never pick a cosmic brownie. I make brownies. <laughs> um, oh my god, Automod is on a roll right now, you guys. People are talking about the oatmeal cream pies getting picked up by Automod. They're talking about ding-dongs getting picked up by Automod. <laughs> Look at that! You should see the like highlight wall of red <laughs> that's being highlighted by Automod. <laughs> that's terrible. They're making it weird. No one said anything creepy. Automod always makes it weird. It's always like a, the most normal message. Oatmeal cream pies, Automod. Oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Look at this! Hold on. This is what- this is the kind of stuff that I see in chat. Wait, let me zoom in so I can show you. You can't see this because it's like a mod action, but- Please. Please! Get me out of here! This is gonna haunt us. This is one for the books. Oh boy. Imagine we're gonna have like some weird troll come in at some point soon and we're gonna get got by that one. I return to this. Oh, hi Tilly. <laughs> Welcome back. We're going through a lot right now. Yeah. Summer. This is our, um, this is our aunt. Cause she used to be married to our uncle, but he's dead. We don't even know her yet. This person's our cousin. We apparently hate her. And these two are our siblings. I haven't really come to meet them yet. This is new. We should probably try and speak to them. This is little slime. Huh. <laughs> the alien noises? I know, it's too much. I can't deal with it either. That's fun though, Slime's a child and Pesto became a toddler. Um, but I don't know about them. They need like a bigger house. Should I place a bigger house for them? Is this a 20 by 20 lot? Maybe I can find one that I've built that's a little bigger. Cause this is too small. There's not enough bedrooms. Um. This one is only two bedrooms as well. That's not gonna work. I might have to move them. Maybe I should move them to a bigger lot. Oh. That's also only two bedrooms. I forgot about that one. 
Huh. Oh, I didn't build this. That's why I forgot about it. <laughs> it's from a shell challenge. I'm like, I don't remember doing this. Because he didn't. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, cats and dog starter. That's two bedrooms. We could split this up to have extra. It's not going to match the world, but... I could probably try to... Is it only one bathroom? Oh, this could become a bedroom. Hold on. I got it. Don't worry, everybody. I'm gonna fix this. Um, I guess I'll put their little desk behind there. How about that? <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? I'll get this door. This could be a room for the teen. Our teenage cousin. Oh yeah, we can make our cousin an enemy on purpose. That is, we do have to have like a bunch of enemies for the green generation of this challenge. So making our cousin into an enemy intentionally might be good. Um, okay, so I guess I can put like a toddler bed for the other sibling. You have a little bit of extra money so I can try to, or extra space I mean, so we can try and get some more stuff. Toddler bed. I don't really care what goes on in here, if I'm being honest. Oh, we can do that, because the kid's an alien. That's nice. Maybe I could get the space light, because the kid's an alien. Okay. Well. That'll do. We're gonna have to, maybe we could fight Polly today again. Oh, this is really like, lagging. What's happening with this house? Oh, this is where our dad and his family live. We were just updating it a bit because they didn't have enough beds for like the whole family. So I was just trying to add to it so it would be more functional for them. Um, but I'm gonna insult Polly while I'm here. <laughs> Ev and Ev, it's snowing and Jamie, thank you for the subs. Don't we need one more bedroom? Uh, no, we've got the one for like our, oh, Summer. Oh my God, I forgot about her. Oh, we do need another bedroom. I forgot that the ant lives here too. It's like the alien and the ant all live here. Wait, hold on. This will be fine. So, this will belong to our dad and his horrible alien girlfriend. Now we have a hallway. I don't really care what their house is like. I just want it to be, you know, somewhat functional. Surely auntie can get the big bedroom. Um, it's too late for her. It seems like she's gonna have to have the smaller one. Oh well. <laughs> as long as it's, I mean, it doesn't actually matter that much. I was gonna say as long as it's functional, but realistically, doesn't matter if it's functional, cause like, you know, we're just playing a silly little Sims game and I'm not actually playing with these Sims. In fact, I want to limit how much time I spend here. So maybe this will be for our aunt's room. She can have that. Small. Dad and the alien should have single beds. You think so? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I think that they, I mean, they are in love. Evil, evil love. And I think they probably want to sleep in the same bed. I mean, how do you think we ended up having all these alien siblings? You know? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> should I put like, maybe I'll get her a bookshelf or something in this room. Well, I don't really care. My live cover was just cosmic brownies when you pulled it up. Oh, the, <laughs> the thumbnail was just cosmic brownies. That's actually quite funny. I mean, we have been talking about snacks for a while on stream, so. 
I guess that kind of checks out. I don't like that. Yeah, I suppose that does make sense. Um, maybe I'll put a dresser, an extra dresser in the hallway. This is fine. It's functional. They've got enough beds for everybody. That's all I cared about. We don't need to build them a whole house. I don't even like these people. Oh, don't tell her to go away. Hold on. Um, also, Blue and everybody, thank you for the subs. I appreciate that. Okay. Can we make Cosmic Brownies the YouTube thumbnail? Maybe. Okay. I'm gonna try and beat her up. Oh, fighter, fighter, fighter. I blame you for killing my mom! Oh, our brother's watching. Uh-oh. I don't want to be mean. No. No. Okay, let me turn her into an enemy. Malicious, declare enemy. All right. Now we've got one. We need to have five for the challenge. Well, that's good. Um, maybe we should come hang out with our little brother for a little bit too. Because I do want to get to know my siblings. Did she beat me up? Oh, yikes. She won the fight, apparently. Huge yikes. Oh, you know what we should do? They should get a pet. Hold on. I totally shouldn't be wasting time doing this. But I kind of want to give our siblings family a pet. They have a pet bowl, so we might as well. I like it. Declare the cousin, too. Yeah, we have to fight the cousin as well. Should I give the cousin a makeover at all or no? She's only a teen. Oh, you know where the new goth kit stuff? Why not? You want to have the new horse friend chair? Oh, I actually kind of think that's cute. Okay, here's our cousin. And, um... I guess our siblings are probably fine. I don't need to worry about them as a toddler and the alien just wears alien clothes. Cat or a dog? Why does the cousin live with them? Oh, okay, so basically, we had Summer is our aunt and this girl, Samantha, is our cousin. They used to live with our, our brother. Well, I guess uncle, it was princess's brother, but <laughs> they're both dead. So Moss's uncle, biological uncle, used to live here with them, um, and then he died. He used to be an astronaut before he died. So that's how Polly knows them. When Polly came to Earth to infiltrate our family, she started staying with Summer because she's like, oh, we're longtime friends, you know, family friends. And then she started having an affair with our husband, and now he lives there too. So strangely, that's the connection. <laughs> but anyway... A hairless cat? Oh. I like the idea of a hairless cat. That is a hairy cat. We can get a sphinx cat. Oh, I'm on breed. I want... No, no. Sphinx cat. What if I made it, like... Hold on. What if the cat was, like... a strange color because it's an alien. I don't think it should be green because that's kind of like stealing our vibes. Like we are green. I know the aliens are green, but what if the cat is like something that isn't green? Because I'm green. I kind of like this color. This has alien energy, right? I'm gonna make your eyes big. Okay. Cute. Cosmic. <laughs> Cosmic brownies. Is the name of our cat. I like it. Cosmic brownie. Maybe I'll give it a sweater. Is there anything that looks kind of like space themed? No. Not really. 
Oh, that's cute though. Oh, fluffy. No, that's funny. I'm gonna keep it with the fluffy trait. I think that's really funny. My hairless cat is fluffy. Why not? <laughs> okay, I'll just leave it there. I didn't mean to spend this much time at our at our dad's house. I just wanted to like set him up a little bit better because I felt bad that it was so small and there were so many Sims. And then we spent all this time. But we'll we'll head out now. <laughs> Next time we come visit our siblings, we'll get to play with the cat or whatever. Okay. Kate, thank you for the 30 months. Inez, thank you for the four months too. Thank you so much. The The cat has a bowl. We just put a litter box, but the cat already has a bowl. Um. Uh-oh. Ah, Pinja, who's Prune? I'm not... I'm not familiar with with this prune that you speak of. I don't I don't know that one. Who's that? Okay, I'll put the litter box in here. And maybe oh no, put the litter box actually like we'll just put it in the kids' room for all I care. And then we can get a cat tree too. That'll do. I think that's really nice. Okay, now we can go back. Christine, what? Well, you're spamming an uh, empty box. I don't see anything. Why, what's with this weird empty message with no text that you're spamming? I don't get it. Never, never seen that before. Weird, huh? Okay. Leo, to think eight months. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go back home to Henford on Bagley. If you missed it, I was, again, just setting up our dad's house, um, but I don't want to be there anymore, so I'm going back home. <laughs> I'm gonna head back, actually, and then we'll, I don't know, probably scale build. It's, it's a Sunday, right? So we have work tomorrow. I didn't forget the food bowl. There's already a food bowl there, and there's already pet toys there. I built that as a cats and dogs starter home, so it, it already has food bowls and toys. I did not forget. Don't worry. Um, the next gen is blue, so, um, Moss's kids will be a part of the blue generation, which is pretty good. Uh-oh. Christine, do you have, like, a master list of Simsy's lowest moments somewhere? <laughs> when you put it like that, it sounds really bad. <laughs> My lowest moments? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, now Moss is feeling squeamish. Oh, great. Just perfect. Well, it, it, I mean, lowest, highest, depends how you look at it, you know? Really depends how you look at it. I'm actually really, really excited about the new house. I feel like this place turned out really nicely. I like the layout, I like the colors. Um, I'm way happier with this than I expected it to be. So, than I expected to be. Christine, stop listing these. You're making me look bad. Shh. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you gotta stop telling them about that stuff. No more, no more, okay? <laughs> That's enough. Two dead cow plants already? Yeah, okay, so, oh. Hey, Dad, you wanna eat the cow plant cake? Oh, you're too afraid of cow plants. Um, I don't actually think that I killed these. So uh, I, I had one of them in our inventory. This is the one that was in our inventory. Um, the other three, or sorry, I had one that I was growing. The other three were in my inventory, backwards. I was growing this one and the other three were in our inventory and they were in my inventory because they were dead. Um, there's a known bug where sometimes when you put them back out of your inventory, they come back to life. Like, the cow plants are totally glitched. They, like, sometimes die and come alive in your inventory, even when they didn't actually die. Um, so what I think actually happened is I placed them, and they were alive because of the glitch, but they were they were dead already. Like, they should have been dead in my inventory, but they weren't because of the bug. Because I've had a lot of cow plants over the years, um, and I've killed a lot of cow plants over the years. I don't think I actually killed these. I think that they just were dead, and they, like, glitched back to being dead. So, um, the one had ancient Bethany essence. Yeah, I think that it's been dead forever and it died 
when I still had the Bethany essence in it. And then uh, when it like glitched and came back to life, it had the essence back. I'm not joking. I'm like, I, I actually don't think that I killed them. I think that they were dead already. I know because I, I wouldn't have had live cow plants in my inventory. And we used to move around with dead ones all the time. Um, but it's kind of creepy, so. <laughs> I think that's what happened with them though. Um, I'm pretty sure because I feel like this one would have died too if that were the case because I think that it would have they all would have been hungry and It didn't but anyway, sometimes if you move them they come back to life, too. It's really weird I wonder if it'll happen with us right now Sometimes literally just moving it will make it pop back alive. No, not this time. Oh Didn't happen right now. It, I don't know what causes it. It's only sometimes it's really weird. But whatever game, do what you must. <laughs> do what you must, it's fine. Get that glitch too, yeah, it's a very common one. It's been happening for years too. It's not even new. It's been around for a long time and they never fixed it. Hope they don't eat any of the Sims. They actually ate two of them autonomously, which was pretty bad, um, but not my fault. <laughs> okay, I will probably get off stream here soonish. Um, We've made some good progress today. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Do you want to water and weed all these for me before I forget? I'm gonna kill them by accident. Um, we've made some pretty good progress today. I think that um, plans for the next few days. Here's here's the deal. So tomorrow is Rick Astley's birthday. Um, we're doing a baking stream. I'm gonna make some like Valentine's Day treats, maybe some cookies tomorrow on stream and celebrate Rick Astley's birthday as we have for the past like six years. <laughs> um, so that's the plan. On Wednesday, I think I'm gonna play House Flipper. Is that what I said I was gonna do? Yes. And then on Thursday, we're gonna build. I promised that I would do a build in Moonwood Mill. Um, so I. I'm gonna do the build in Moonwood Mill that I promised oh. everybody. Oh, careful, Moss! Whoa. But I did promise the mods that I would do one, so I will. They've, they've been demanding it, and it's time. I owe it to them. Um, so that's the plan for the next couple of days on stream. I always post the stream schedule in the Discord server. There's like a stream schedule channel at the top, and I post like the plans for the whole week, and then if things change, I'll like edit it and update it. Um, if I have to cancel for, for whatever reason, I feel sick or something, I update it in there too. Um, but that's kind of how it works. So <laughs> she loves our puzzle shells. Don't, don't taunt me like this. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, gay werewolves? Like I should build a house for gay werewolves? I mean, that's a given. If we're being so perfectly honest. If I'm the one building it, it's like pretty much every time they're going to be gay, isn't it? It just keeps happening. All my sims are gay, pretty much. So, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if we're being real about this. <laughs> that sounds about right to me. Okay, let's save the game and <laughs> we'll go find someone to raid. See, you're playing with a, a couple of gay werewolves, right? Oh, Tilly. Do you have a werewolf book? Oh, exciting. Well, it's double. C actually needs it though. See, I will literally build it for whatever specs you give me that your Sims need. If you say, I need three bedrooms, I need this, I will literally do that. I love a, a task. <laughs> if you tell me what your Sims are, I will literally build that on, on Thursday. <laughs> Let me know what you need. <laughs> I'll make it. I'm ready. <laughs> We'll get a like a list, a, a, a wish list, you know? I think it'll be fun. You come in at gay werewolves. Welcome in, Pink! It's nice to see you! <laughs> You're here at a good time. Okay, well anyway, this has been a fun stream today, chat. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm sorry to run, um, but I'm kind of hungry. I want to make dinner, so. Oh, I gotta go to the grocery store! Oh my god, I'm so silly. Okay, yeah, I really have to go. <sighs> What is wrong with me? Why have I put myself in this, in this position? I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Do you know what it was? It's because yesterday I spent like all morning working on my book journal. I was sat here at my desk just doodling, 
And I didn't, I was like, I gotta go to the grocery store. I gotta do all this stuff. I, I was supposed to do laundry. I didn't do that either. I didn't do anything. You have a book journal? Yeah. Share with mods, please. No. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> but I was working on it yesterday and then I didn't go to the grocery store like I was supposed to. What goes in a book journal? I just track all the books that I read and stuff in there. It's fun for me. Um, I don't know. That's private. How dare you? See, you get it. <laughs> My like TBR stuff, that's private information. <laughs> it's like a bullet journal kind of, yeah. I don't know. I just track all the, and talk about all my reading in there. I like it because I keep track of my thoughts about the books that I've been reading, but that's private. It's mine. I feel so left out. My friend hates me. Yeah, you guys have like tricked me into talking about this stuff way more often than I used to. There's a reason I don't talk about it. It's because you asked to see it and it's mine. Idea you might steal actually. There's a lot of really cool ideas online of how to do it. A lot of people, a lot of people do stuff like that. A lot of people also just have bullet journals in general and they like put book stuff in it. But um, I'm not like a big, I don't know. I don't really care to do like bullet journaling plan planning because most of my like planning stuff I do like online. So I like my book journal though. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, there's some TikTokers I see that uh, I follow that have, um, well, I don't know if I follow them. I see them though, that do book journaling. <laughs> Sometimes, you know on TikTok how like, you see the same people over and over, but you're not even sure if you follow them? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you get it. <laughs> it's so easy on TikTok to like, you've like seen this person for like a year, but you've never actually followed them. <laughs> Anyway, it's fine. Um, <laughs> let me go see who all is live and we can try and find someone to raid. Um, you've never followed anyone on TikTok? Yeah, I don't even know who I follow on TikTok. It's not intentional. I like, there's so many people that I'm sure I think I follow that I don't actually, because I still get their videos. Like, I I don't even know who my who I follow on TikTok. I should probably go through it and check at some point, but I just don't think about it. I've been trying to be on TikTok less too, so. Anyway, <laughs> let me go see who all is live. Actually, I have a fun idea. Let me scroll through just a little bit, um, see if we can find someone that maybe is playing The Sims, perhaps? Less TikTok, more books, that's the spirit. Yeah, I've been trying really hard to like, um, I don't know, ever since I got my Kindle, I've been trying to like redirect my brain to, you know when you like pick up your phone to scroll? I've been trying to like stop, <laughs> pick up the Kindle, <laughs> you know? Um, I've been trying to like work on it, but I'm not, I don't like to read when I only have like a second. I prefer when I can like sit down and read a lot, especially cause a lot of the books that I read have long chapters and I don't wanna not finish a chapter, but anyway. That's the situation. So <laughs> that's what I've been trying to train myself with at least, especially at home where I always have it with me. Um, so anyway, I think I wanna go raid. Oh, you know what? My friend Emrys is live uh, and Emrys is playing The Sims, doing some legacy challenge. I like the vibes of that. Let's do it. Um, we'll go over and say hi to Emrys. Um, if you have not been to their streams before, they use they, he pronouns. Uh, and you might know Emrys because we play Among Us together a lot. Um, so you might have, you might have seen. <laughs> you might be familiar, but go say hi for me. I will catch you tomorrow because we're gonna be baking for Rick Astley's birthday, which will be so fun. Um, and I'll see you on a bit, okay? Hey Kai, Kai and Roxanne and Oliver and everybody, thank you for the subs. Uh, and I'll catch you tomorrow, okay? Oh no, we don't know when the next Among Us stream is. We're gonna plan that soon, Harpy. We usually do one, one about once a month, so probably in the next couple weeks we'll do it but I'll figure it out and then let you know. <laughs> we need to plan. Okay, anyway, love you all. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs> and stop streaming.